Welcome to Master the Game. I am Juice, and tonight we are playing Pulp Cthulhu. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm just going to kick it on over to Peter. So take it away, bud. All right. It is Pulp Cthulhu, Blackheart Crucible, Session 6. Time for the recap. And there's an you awkward silence. It. One, two, it three, was... not it. A lot of, Luther, lot of Luther stuff. Luther doesn't really again. remember much from the past couple weeks, so... Uh... <laughs> So we we first picked off last session. Bonnie had just thrown the pesticide containers out in front of the uh, patient zero, and when we picked up the session, she shot it and uh, engulfed the creature in flames. It was now a, a burning, writhing mass of weird fish head things and tentacles and all kinds of nasty. Blake then body slammed it. Um, Billy Bob intimidated one of the uh, other fumigator guys who was just like coming out to see what was going on thus discovering his uh, insane talent. Um, Ethel flashed back to 1940, or 1974 in southern Italy when she was trying to protect, protect a, uh, a member of the church. Uh, she thought this other man looked a lot like the member of the church and he had the same ring, so she went to go help him. Uh, the police encircled the area, and they aren't quite sure what to do at first. They're kind of all, they all got guns drawn, and they're pointing in the general direction, but they don't know what to do. There's a monster here. There's these people. They're, they really don't know what to do. Um, uh, after that, uh, the doctor was wounded, which turned out to be the person that Ethel thought was the, uh, you know, the uh, priest. So she treated his wounds, not knowing that he was the, the bad doctor. Um after that, Ethel got in a car with him. Um, don't remember. I think the monster just kind of got withered away. We just kind of kept shooting him and beating on him and stuff, and he died. Quotation marks. Um, Peace they all went, in his sleep. Yeah, they all went to go to the van, and uh, we discovered that the, uh, the doctor was, in fact, not the doctor after they uh, discovered a coffin in the van. Um we decided to put him inside of it. And then Bonnie used the shop vac to vacuum up some of patient zero. So we had some remains. Ethel and Billy Bob at this point had kind of come out of their, you know, their, their insanity. We then uh, drove away in the van after the police shot at us. I think one of us, one of us took a hit from the police. I think Billy Bob. Yeah. Billy Bob. It, it, it wrecked. It uh, damaged his favorite shirt. Yep. That's what it was. He was yeah. not happy. Not happy at all. We then uh, got other like bats out of hell after uh, I believe one of us yelled out to the police, telling them that there was a bomb that was about to go you, off. Yes, Ethel did, and they, yep. and uh, they they left their cars running and ran away. Yeah, they just ran like hell. Um, we strapped the van to the helicopter and flew out of the blast radius. The bomb went off. Huge, huge nuclear explosion. We then circled back to the shower store where Boris went out and did his little light flashy thing on it. Yep. <clears throat> uh, let's see. After that, we all got back in uh, and started to make our way to the clinic, which we had found that there was a uh, more patient, possibly more patients at. Um, upon arriving, we dropped the van off in an alley. Um, decided that we're going to use the van as kind of like a cover since we've seen another one of those same vans out back at this other place so uh the the plan was that uh billy bob and ethel would go into the clinic try and figure out if there were more patients and we needed to sanitize the area or if there was just one and we could take them um on our way up we had suited up in the uh i just forgot the uh the coveralls yeah the coveralls and stuff um 
two guards stopped us at the front gate and we uh, had a conversation with them and they seemed uh, seemed to think we were someone else that, that we were not and uh, told us that we had to come and pick up the package that a specific doctor had uh, requested and so uh, we, we just kind of played along with it and said yes that we're here to pick up the package and kind of played played into it made our way inside and found the uh, the patient and whatnot and we were about to go and go further into the the clinic and try and find any other possible patients um, at which point Bonnie and Blake were arguing about 3.5 in the back of the van and uh, the two guards that were standing guard outside the van heard this and uh, one of them went to go investigate and open the back door and well you know Blake was still kind of uh hyped up from uh from before and so uh he got a a full shotgun blast right to the right to the chin while uh Bonnie was attempting to uh you know talk him down however uh he died instantly after that uh a gunfight broke out outside with the second guy he didn't make it very far either uh Bonnie kind of just laid waste to his village with that mp5 at which point uh, Billy Bob and Ethel were partially through the hospital when we, I think Billy Bob heard the gunshots. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, proceeded to make his way back outside. Ethel did like a final sweep looking for uh, looking for any any last places they could be hide. The doc, the uh, other doctor and the uh, new patient had ran away outside and were attempting to make a getaway. Um, Blake put a stop to that real good uh (laughs) he kind of knocked one of them out and the other one uh, i believe he severely brutalized yes (laughs) um let's see after that let's see blake and bonnie uh find a mysterious figure that was out in the alleyway that showed up uh blake however uh gave him the beans with the shotgun again and uh also had found madness again after witnessing uh that strange black figure um bonnie then also i believe bonnie also contributed to that man's death yeah yeah um at which point blake had just become a wild loose cannon he was shooting at doors that were opening uh he he was going nuts so these were everywhere yes exactly so we managed to get everyone back in the van and at which point uh Blake was then taking shots at random passerbys or no, that hadn't happened yet. We had first uh, seen the other van heading straight at us, which it, it did not last long. It got shot at by Billy Bob and then Ethel put it down with the, uh, the old China Lake. However, the burning van slammed into a house and created a house fire. Some yes. poor, unfortunate family is now homeless. Yes. They uh, evacuated but... to the other side of the street and then Blake shot at them, but yes, <laughs> Yes, thankfully he missed. He, we were not not killing innocent, well, too many innocent that day. <laughs> <laughs> We then proceeded to make our great getaway. Uh, the police showed up and we had to do a, uh, a UE. Um, I believe I shot a, had we shot, no, we hadn't shot at them yet. I believe the first group of police cars, didn't someone shoot out their tires? Uh, you shot the uh, the China Lake. Yeah. Yep. And and one car made it. The other one hit the gas station, flipped and hit the gas station. The gas station blew up and the one car made it. And then I believe Billy Bob shot out the tires and that's when the, the police car stopped pursuit. Yep. Yeah. I, I, Ethel would like to add there that she was not trying to kill the police officers. She shot a nade out in front of them to scare yes, them off. Yes. And they yes. uh, were terrible drivers. Yes. Well, that was. Um, yeah, that's when you strapped again, uh, strapped the van with the straps to the Black Hawk and begin taking off. And that is when our, the good doctor there coughed and had a handful of earwigs. So, uh, we will begin this session with a luck refresh. So everybody gets to lo- uh, roll for luck because you may need it. <laughs> I forgot how we do that. <laughs> so, uh, give me a roll and if it is uh under your luck score you get uh, 1d10 plus 5 if you fail it is 2d10 plus 10. 
Uh, but you have that feat gives you additional D10. Okay. Uh, is Luther included? Luther is or? included, of course. <clears throat> nice, nice. All right, so I failed. So I roll... You, you would roll 3d10 and add 10 D10. because you've got that feat, yep. right? 10. And if you succeed, it's what again? 12. It's uh, 1d10 one, one plus 5. 1d10 plus 5. Okay. Okay. All right. So I, so I get to add that number. Correct. Okay, cool. What's 45 plus 16, y'all? I'm bad at math. 61. I public school. Gosh, man. <laughs> God damn math's getting us again. All right. Good. <laughs> My luck has doubled. Noise. <laughs> What's that now? Five? 38. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. We had knocked out Blake. Or I'm sorry, 37. Yes, it took several attempts to knock out Blake. Yes. He was well, shot no. with the dart in the neck. He was hit over the head with the pistol. Um... <laughs> I, I have one hit. Clearly, <laughs> clearly too many monsters that day. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was uh, that. Didn't you have like eight HP? Uh, yeah, something like that. And I'm down to one I, now. I think you're at eight. That was all subdual damage. Yeah, we weren't trying. So to yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you are at eight. Cool. I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah, we weren't right. trying to give you a concussion. We were just trying to temporarily knock you unconscious. Yeah. It apparently worked. <laughs> well, not the first few times. <laughs> yeah, no, it did. I mean, so uh, yeah, that's true. We further reaffirmed that Boris's tranquilizer darts are shit. Um, that's actually a good question. What's uh, Blake's intelligence now with all those whops to the head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is my intelligence? Eighty-five. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty high. <laughs> yeah, minus uh, twenty right. for all the head damage. <laughs> so you so, said this uh, this chick has earwigs coming out of her mouth. Yeah, she coughs and she's got earwigs in her. Looks in her hand, she's got earwigs crawling all over her hand. And they fall on the floor. Ethel's gonna hit her with the light. Uh, uh, you faintly the filtered light. You faintly see it, obviously, on the earwigs, and uh, there's some like streaks around her face. Hmm. Um. Let's see. How is our our new patient looking? Like, she's unconscious, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she's unconscious. She's missing some of her teeth. She's got an orbital fracture. Uh, she kind of looks in rough shape, as far as that's concerned. But, uh, you know, if you fl obviously flash a light on her, she's still got the same yeah. coloration she had before. Um. Is, is the doctor doing anything else? Is like she looked like she's uh, about to go nuts, or no? She's just kind of very cautious, uh, not doing anything, considering she's in this van that's being lifted by a helicopter that has a coffin in it. And how many dead bodies are in this uh, back of this van? I One, think two, two, three, three, three dead bodies. Blake's <laughs> knocked out. Uh, yeah, it's how are the earwigs looking. Do they count as dead bodies? Or are they still doing well? No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So you can you feel the helicopter moving, uh, taking the van uh, away from the scene. We will go to Luther. So Luther, uh, last we left off, he was at uh, Shitty Carl's uh, cooking up some meth, uh, which was only for a couple days, and um, then decided to hit the town. Uh, you don't remember much, but you right. do know I... that um, there was some kind of fire, like a garage blew up or something, and there was some kind of transformer, and there was yeah. a fire. And so, so here, so here's what happened, guys. Like seriously, I was cooking up a primo batch. I mean, I was researching uh, some some supplies for our current mission, <clears throat> and it, everything was going along great. And, but I had, you know, I tested a little of it. And then, I don't know, you know, I was having a good time. I I got a dog, guys. Like, it was great. It's this beautiful golden retriever. Her name's Karen. Technically, she's not really my dog. 
this shitty Carl's, but we bonded and stuff. Like we're writing a book and, you know, it's about squirrels, her idea. But like, you know, it was a great experience. And then, I don't know, I inhaled too much of the ammonia gas and uh, I I woke up in, you know, like woke up in lockup and a couple of NUSDA guys showed up and they kind of sprung me and then I ended up here and I don't like, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, so uh, give me a luck roll and I will let you know where here is. Okay, okay. Uh, 42. That is a success. Okay. So uh, you faintly remember thinking they were UNAS guys. You wake up. Yep. You are in the back of a van. Yep. Uh, there's assorted items in here. You can tell that at one time your hands were bound, but they're not bound anymore. Uh, you had a gag. It's not there anymore. There's a person sitting across from you in a blonde wig and a very dark beard uh, kind of just kind of looking at you. Karen? Um, uh, he's and looks just kind of. And there's a, a fumigation canister, and there's a person driving. Uh, there's a driver and a passenger, and they're having a conversation, obviously, in Spanish. Uh, nice. You can feel an intense amount of heat, and then it kind of fades, and the van begins to pick up speed and starts to drive. Hey, uh, like, I don't, is this Uber or Lyft or, uh, but I like, there's an extra $10 that my friend Boris is going to give you if you, uh, if you, if you take me where I need to go. I, I, I like, I don't look, I'm sorry. I know I kind of threw up in the car a little bit and I'll pay the cleanup fee and stuff. Well, Boris will, but just, I just, I really, I, I this is important. I got, I, I gotta, I gotta get to where I'm going like right now. Uh, poor, poor favor. Uh, uh, senior. <laughs> the passenger just kind of turns his head and looks at you. Um, and kind of like gives a menacing look and then speaks in Spanish to the driver. Uh, the person sitting across from you is just like, Luther, you need to be quiet, man. Just be quiet. Uh, okay, Karen, I don't like, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened, Karen, but like you were a beautiful golden retriever and now you're some bearded blonde person. Huh. And I don't know what's going on, but like, I, I got to get back to the group. I got to like, okay, look, I got a good thing going on. I don't want to mess it up. So like, let's, I got to get back. I, I, you know, I'm going to get fired or even worse, like down killed or something. But like, the thing is I'm a real important guy now. Like I know you got no reason to believe this, Karen. I'm serious, but like, I'm a real important guy now and I got important things to do and we got to go. Like, so if you can talk to you know your friends i like i don't i, I just uh, like let, i just got to get to where i got to go why you keep calling me karen you it's <laughs> reginald you know reginald Rhett. last time you were done they call me regret oh don't I, you remember last time you were here i thought you were karen you got the same hair it's that golden retriever sort of thing um but yeah i okay reggie dude okay i got you covered first of all first of all primo wicked stuff buddy i'm just saying wicked stuff and i'm gonna give you some if if we can get to where i gotta go right now okay <laughs> just just give it a second man i'm not gonna jump out of a speeding van all right all right i'll i'm gonna sit here quietly and sort of just try to gather my senses um but like uh, I, I, okay i'm gonna trust you Reggie, you're a good guy. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't really remember a lot, but uh, you know, like, I, I think you're a good guy. So, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust that we're going where we're supposed to be going. Maybe if we could stop at a phone, if you could just tell your friends to stop at a phone and I could make a call, that, that would be... They ain't my friends. They came and picked us up from the lockup and then they tied us up, so they ain't our friends, man. Uh, um... I don't know what you're involved in. Did they say anything in English? Like when they picked us up, did you do you remember anything about them getting us out? They said something about payback. Oh, okay. Um, for what happened at the uh, at the uh, oil rig. I don't know. Uh, Maybe you can clue them in. 
no, we're in trouble. Uh, we gotta, we 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 gotta get out of here, Reggie. Like, 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 we gotta. I, I'm 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 gonna open the door and and tumble. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you go to the back door. It is locked. Yes, but Luther has all of his belongings in a yes. clear plastic bag. Like Correct. his shoelaces are out, his belt is yep. off, but all mm -hmm. of his belongings are in a little clear plastic bag. And he reaches in for that handy dandy switchblade and he's going to attempt to, you know, jam open the, the back door. He's going to try to pry it open. <laughs> all right. Uh, lock pick, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, that is a uh, success, um, straight success. Okay, yeah, pops pops open. Okay, so the door pops open, and uh, Luther looks back at at Reggie slash Karen and says, "You know, last chance, man. I'm going." And he and he tumbles out, does like a tuck and roll, tumbling out. Uh, all right, give me uh, dodge. Okay. Well, that's a fail. <laughs> that's a fail. <laughs> you are going to oh, take us. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to use any luck? Nah, I'll take it. Uh, Luther's been resting for the past two weeks. You know, he's uh, he's actually feeling pretty good. Um, All right, you take so. six points of damage as you tuck and hit the ground, uh, and as you come to a stop, you realize that there's a huge fireball behind you, like something has ignited, like some store or something's on fire and that's why there's no traffic behind you because they've all been stopped okay. and the van speeds uh you also see a helicopter you can hear it in the distance okay um uh okay so luther hits the ground rolls kind of uh, pats himself off brushes himself off a little bit and you know says bye karen and uh i i'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna flag the helicopter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flag <laughs> the helicopter because it's clearly, it's got to be my friends. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be NUS something or other, right? Like who else is flying a helicopter around an exploded building? Also, if there is an exploded building, it has to be my crew, right? <laughs> like that. So yeah, <laughs> without question, I'm flagging the helicopter. Yeah, you there's. See, uh... Uh... You can hear emergency vehicles in the distance. So uh, you begin to flag the helicopter. Uh, you can see the van you're in is like turn, slows. You see the, the, the brakes come on and then uh, the door closes and it speeds forward and stops. And all of a sudden, a streak of fire, like wow. somebody shot, had a flamethrower, shoots out of what looks like the front window, yep. the windshield and hits the helicopter uh everybody who is in the van who has the lowest luck i know i have higher than blake i got blake. 61. <laughs> 37. anybody okay, give, give me a luck roll i got 73 so we're close <laughs> i failed like always 79 percent. great uh everybody in the van you feel this jostling uh, and whoever's up front, so that whoever's driving, that would be what Bonnie and Ethel, you see like a, a stream of fire, like come out from above. It burns the, uh, the straps and the van hits the ground and you hear a smash. Um, it is not, the, the van is not going to move. You can hear pieces and stuff uh, broken off. <laughs> and look around outside the front window. What do I see? You see the helicopter like spinning around, and there's you can tell it's been hit with some sort of fire, and it is spinning, attempting to uh, land somewhere safely. You see, Grandma, this is why I drive everywhere. Goddamn Boris should have let me fly. <laughs> uh, I'll look behind me. How's everyone look? Um, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm probably just flapping fuck? around unconscious everywhere. So. Blake, you, you, you wake up. You're out of your madness. That jostles you awake. 
What the? Jackie, no. No, Jackie. Wait, what? <laughs> Where am I? We were shot down, apparently. Don't worry how far about did the How far did the van fall? Uh, about 40 feet. Oof. Oof. How's the coffin look? Uh, it's still closed. <laughs> the shop back bag? Uh, it has not opened. <laughs> the people who were back there? That <laughs> Yeah, they're just dead. covered in a pile. You can just see the earwigs, like, scattered around. Status report, everybody. Any broken bones? No, but the car does not work. Did somebody stab me in the neck? Why was there this syringe back here? Don't ask. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem right now. Um... <laughs> You see that fire? Save that. I don't mind reusing those. Like, I'll, I'll re- <laughs> we, we gotta find us a new ride. <laughs> I agree. What do I see outside the front windshield involving automotive vehicles? You see cars coming, uh, it's uh, the other way, driving like past you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's no cars really in front of you. I mean, well, any parked cars on the street or anything? Yeah. Anything in my mirrors? Uh, if you look in the mirror, you can see a, an identical van that's like, I don't know, 100 yards back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do I see anyone inside of it? Uh, you would guess. I mean, there would might be somebody inside. It's in the, It's in the street. Is it moving? No, it is stopped. Well, for every problem, there's an MP5 solution. Yeah, let's get in that other van. Come on, everyone. Can Billy Bob roll out the side with his Russian sniper rifle and take a peek through the scope? Yes, you can. Do I see a driver? <laughs> uh, yes, you do. You see a driver speaking to somebody, and they are in a very animated conversation. Oh, I would like to try and remove his head from the rest of his personage. The driver? Yes. Okay. Of negotiations to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. How big of a pass is that? Oh, that's a hard success. All right. Hard now success. I have to look for the sniper. Bonnie, you still got that flak jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Blake had it on. Blake had it. I, it didn't fit me. <laughs> Weren't that too? Yeah. Oh, real poor. That's five damage. I'm going to help me into this other flak jacket. Okay. Open. Slip one arm. Slip the other arm. Close. So you shoot him. Uh, you do not catch him in the head. You catch him in the shoulder, and he just kind of wheels back um, and kind of ducks out of the way. Uh, Luther, as you're standing there and you see this whole scene, you see an individual step out of the van with no clothes on. Um, it is not uh, regret. It is some other person you have not seen. They've got, you can see now they have bandages on and they're all bloody. Uh-huh. And they're just kind of looking around and they begin to walk over to like a convenience store. They're just kind of making their way to a convenience store across the street. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to follow the person across the street to the convenience store. However, here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to take my uh, my Sony Walkman cassette player that I stole from shitty Carl's bodyguard, Brucey, and I'm going to put <laughs> my handy dandy, uh, you know, the melodic tones of David Coverdale and Whitesnake into uh, the cassette player. And I'm okay. going to have it. I'm going to have it ready to, to play as my uh, signal. So, yeah. Phil's right. going to str- stride on out of our van in a flak jacket and uh, begin advancing on the other it's van. very easy to put on. <clears throat> <laughs> so you're making your way to the other van? Yeah, she's got, like, revolver held out in front of her ready to shoot anyone who looks like they're trying to make the getaway. Like, if someone tries to, you know, get the, get the van in gear and start moving, she's ready to take them out. Okay, let's give me a spot hidden roll. That's a 16, which I believe is a pass. Oh, what, yes, how? it is. What's your spot uh, hidden? That's a hard success with a 16. So, okay. 
Uh, you notice that uh, as you're moving towards the van, you notice that the driver is n either not there or he's ducked. There's a passenger in the passenger seat um, that you can see moves to the back of the van. And then you see a person who in the light looks to be naked. Uh, they've got some bandages on them and they're just walking towards like a convenience store that's nearby. And behind them in the distance is a figure uh, that's standing in the road uh, and his he silhouettes in the light. It looks like Luther. The hell? Luther, how the hell did you get out here? <laughs> oh my god, I'm like I it's I I've been looking for you. This whole time you guys you know, I was I was doing stuff and things and I was I was I was researching some stuff we need for Explain our mission. the story, how guys, did we need that van? We gotta get out of okay, here. Okay, okay. But wait, wait, there's people in the van that yeah, were I've trying got to a kill gun. They were doing bad things too. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You, you, I got your back, Ethel. You Ethel's go. Ethel's gonna rapid fire at the person in the passenger seat. <laughs> okay. Jump three rounds at him. Oh wait, not D20s. We want D100s. Uh, that is a regular success, a regular success, and a hard success. Okay. And that is if it all heats. Where's my other D10? There it is. It is 10, 10, 10. Yeah, 21 plus 2. Uh, 23 points of damage. So, I would assume you're blasting like right through the windshield. Yeah, just doof, doof, doof. Yeah, the windshield. Just these holes in it. Uh, and you can see like a figure like drop to the ground in the back. As you are approaching the uh, the van, Ethel's uh, going to do one of these numbers for everyone in our van to start, you know, charging the other van. Okay. Luther awkwardly thinks that Ethel's trying to high five him, and so he goes to put his hand up and like completely misses, and then looks back at the van and says "Via con Dios, compadre," and uh, just kind of gives Ethel a big hug. So yeah. hang on, honey. <laughs> 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 and of course Luther smells of stale sweat piss and vomit uh, like he's just his pants are half falling down because he's carrying his belt uh, yeah it's uh, put your it's belt amazing. on honey God. <laughs> so what's different than normal about Luther <laughs> like, yeah, is he like walking much. around in, in stained whitey tidies is that what's going on right now <laughs> well, no, I mean, he does have his pants on, but like oh, they, okay. you know, they they just gave him all of his stuff back when they let him out. He did, hasn't had a chance to properly fix himself yet, you know. Gotcha. It, and I mean that in more than one. Yeah, day. I was about to say, I think <laughs> fixing him might be a good idea. <laughs> uh, okay, right. I'll go to the other van and see if I can get it started. All right, so you're headed to the other van. Yeah. Uh, what's Blake doing? Probably following Bonnie to go to the other van as well, I would say. Um, I mean, I've got the flak jacket and stuff. Blake, would you like to keep an eye on the two prisoners in the van as well as the coffin? Aren't they dead? No, no, they're, they're, <laughs> <not>. <laughs> they're not dead yet? Oh. And they are going to stay not dead if you know what's good for you. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'll, I'll stay. That's fine. I'll, I'll watch the prisoners. Yeah. Billy Bob, keep an eye on them too. We don't need any more surprises. You got it. Bonnie's already blowing me off. We're going to back this other van up to our van and offload everyone. I know your opinion on 3.5 and it's wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll switch from the sniper rifle over to the shotgun while all that's going on. Start keeping watch over the uh, prisoners. Okay, so you guys are watching the patient and the doctor? As they and are... the coffin. And the coffin. Yep. And the coffin. If the lid comes up, I'm going to start blasting. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally so, gonna have my uh, 22 short auto ready. <laughs> if anyone acts up, I'm pistol whipping them. The doctor uh, again coughs, and there's some more earwigs that come out. Like, how many earwigs come out when he coughs? Was she like six to eight? And like, she seems normal. Besides that, yeah. 
Other, I mean, her back's in a lot of pain where you butt stroked her in her in her spine. Well, she deserved yeah. it. She's coughing up earwigs. <laughs> that was before the fact. That's a death penalty in this world. <laughs> Is uh, there any pesticide canisters left in this van, or did Bonnie blow all of them up out of this one? I can't remember. Uh, in, in the van with the coffin? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's any pesticide canisters. In nah, there. Ethel's Ethel's wearing the the pack that had one in it still. Okay, that's right. So we have to blow up Ethel to get these earwigs. Then <laughs> <laughs> wasn't gonna blow up anything. I was just gonna spray the earwigs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, but Ethel has the canister, so. <laughs> so uh, oh. Luther and Ethel, as you are, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Embracing, embracing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do notice that the person, the stranger who walked away from the van without clothes, has entered the convenience store. Who the hell is that? I, 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 I thought I don't know. It was dark back there, and you know I'm not feeling real well right now. But uh, we gotta I get this go van. Check. We gotta go. All right, you. But do you want me to go check in the convenience store uh, and see who that was, or like? We'll have time for that later. Okay, okay. Ethel's gonna like kind of shuffle around Luther and whip the door open. Everyone out of the goddamn van! <laughs> Vanish. <laughs> uh, you see uh, a man about 6'9 with a blonde wig uh, step out. Don't hurt, don't hurt. That's Karen. Don't, long story, Ethel. Don't hurt Karen. Like, but you know this guy? Luther, you owe me. And starts. <laughs> Walking over to uh, bum a ride from somebody. <laughs> yeah, uh, th- it's, it's Karen, Reggie. I, it's a long story, Ethel, but like, yeah, he's good. He's okay. He's not, don't worry, he's not a commie bastard. Ethel, Ethel's looking around in the van looking for any other people that would be a target. Uh, there is another person in there. Uh, they are wounded. Like, you can see that they've been shot. Uh, probably the person that you shot. Uh, they're like crawling towards the back, trying to get out, leaving a blood trail. Those those guys are clearly Sandinistas, Ethel. I think you just put them out of their misery right now. Like seriously, I, this this is they're not good. They're, As you keep talking, just one gunshot goes off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they quit moving. Oh, that that yeah, that was a critical success. <laughs> yeah, they don't move. <laughs> mm. Drag him out, honey. We gotta get this van backed up to the other one. Luther will Luther climb climbs into the van and starts dragging him out, but he's also rifling through their pockets as he, uh, you know, as he's. Uh, so as you grab out. onto them and start pulling them, you realize you pull some of their skin like right off, revealing reptilian scales. Uh, give me a sand roll. <sighs> okay. <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a, a d6 roll. Uh, three. Okay. Uh, so so I, you lose. am I losing three points of sand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, Ethel, I, I don't know whether this is a bad trip and the remnants of, but like, can you just come here and tell me if this is a reptilian or if I'm just kind if of he's weird, right leave now. him in the van. But, but the, I, the skin is coming off. <laughs> if it's weird, leave it in the van. Okay, I, 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 I Bonnie, drop let's it. Go. Get this van packed up to the other one. We gotta I, get out of here before the police show up. I, I drop it and I'm like, okay, Ethel, I'll, I'll be right there. And and I sort of I gingerly approach and still rifle through the pockets, even though they're disgusting and their skin is coming off because they still might have pocket change. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, uh, give me a luck roll. <laughs> That's a success. Okay, yeah, you actually uh, get their wallet. Nice. And uh, they got about twenty bucks on them. I grab the wallet and uh, I grab the wallet, take the money out, any sort of IDs, credit cards, that sort of thing, and then just like kind of toss the wallet, uh, toss the wallet okay. back. So, 
jokes on you. That was an imported Italian wallet worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> Damn it, Billy Bob! Why are you telling me now? <laughs> made of genuine leather, uh, made of genuine li- lizard skin. Yeah, exactly, alligator skin. Exactly. <laughs> yep. All right, so we're getting the van backed up as fast as possible up to the other van. Yep. Just like opening the doors on both vans and just straight back to back. Shove everything across, people. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Bob's gonna attempt his new skill and intimidate the uh, the doctor and the patient to get their asses in the other van now. Well, the okay. Patient's unconscious. So well, he's like <laughs> barking out orders to him. I literally just pick them up and move them into the other van. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so give me uh, an intimidation roll. You get a bonus die. Is intimidating this mess of a page. I know you're here. <laughs> Here's a clue. It's in alphabetical order. I know. <laughs> While they're moving everything across, and they like after they get the coffin across. Uh, Ethel's gonna take her Zippo cigarette lighter and light the seat on fire in the, uh, the van that we left behind. Okay. <clears throat> Just you to make passed. sure that there's not any evidence. No, I failed to intimidate them. Okay. Like six points. <laughs> okay. Is it worth six points of luck? No, I'm just attempting my new thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you attempt to intimidate uh, the doctor, uh, she is just like not moving faster than she you think she should be, and this really pisses off, pisses you off, and you go into a rage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start right? kicking her in the ass and screaming even louder to get her ass in the van. All right, you got uh, plus two to all your melee attacks with strength. Give weapons. me a fighting brawl roll. Oh dear. <laughs> Resistance to everything except psychic damage. <laughs> yep. yep <he's- laughs> Is Billy Bob Bear Totem? Yep. Oh, that's a that's an absolute like really bad fail. <laughs> kick the kick the ever living shit out of the wall of the van and break a toe. <laughs> yeah, I rolled like a seventy five and I needed a twenty five to hit. <laughs> Ran your psychic damage. <laughs> okay, so as she kind of like moves out of the way as you try to like forcefully grab her. Uh, she kind of slips away and then starts to run. Damn it. Blake, can you get her or do I need to shoot the bitch? Shoot her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bang. <laughs> oh, never mind. So what weapon do you have? Are you using the sniper rifle? No, I have the shotgun out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's a riot control shotgun. Yeah, it's, it's totally going to be fine. <laughs> How far did she get, Peter? <laughs> uh, pro- by the time you grab that shotgun, probably 20 yards. 20? Okay. So, first I'll roll a hit here. And that is a... Is that normal or above? That's a hard success. I don't think that does anything special, though. No. And at 20, that would be half the damage. She took six damage. So she gets blasted and hits the ground and kind of gets up. Um, and she can see, like, there's earwigs starting to come out of her body. Like, they're falling out of the where the, the bullet holes, <laughs> the, the, uh, the buckshot was. And they begin <laughs> falling on the ground. Guys, what in the actual fuck is happening right now? Those guys' yes, skin is coming off. This bitch is spitting up earwigs. Like, what? There's some it? kind of weird disease or something. God, People man. are getting infected. Okay, but tell me you see it, too. Just tell me. Yes. It's okay. a parasite. It's just okay. parasites. That's okay. all we got to get rid of the parasites. Peter, if she got up, I'm going to shoot her again. <laughs> all right. Um. So let's go. Let's, okay, let's. Uh, just give everybody. Uh, so, Bonnie, uh, what are you? Go- what are you? What are you doing? I'm trying to find a pair of sunglasses because I have no front windshield in this thing, and I'm going to be driving it. <laughs> and I'd like to be able to see. 
Okay. Uh, give me a luck roll. Uh, it's a June 22 bug, right? and I have 73 luck. Yeah, there's a uh, a nice pair of aviators. Oh, nice. In the glove box that you find, like, not even used, like, perfect, no scratches. Right off the oh, gas station like these uh, spinning nights. rack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's night. That's when I need to wear my sunglasses. Yep. Still a five dollar price tag hanging right off the corner of the earpieces. <laughs> That's a style thing, right there. It's like we've gotten jeans. everything out of the other van now, right? Yeah. Uh, the coffin. The coffin would be the heaviest. Would be the heaviest thing. Blake, get that damn coffin! What do you want me to do, Gwen? I need. Just I need shove help. it across. This thing's heavy. It's got like metal tubes and stuff in it. Ethel's gonna climb her her old ass self out there with him. <laughs> yes, let's go! Come on! And All try right. and help him push it. All <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, Blake, uh, uh, you, you can make a strength roll. Uh, you're looking for a hard success, and you get a bonus die because Ethel's helping you. Okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> All right, I made it. Thirty-two uh, percent. Okay. That is an ex- nope. That's a hard success by three yeah. percent. So just enough to 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 leverage it so you can get it right onto the to the back of the other van as it kind of pops down. God, I hope I didn't give myself a hernia. As soon as soon as they complete it, you know, Luther, who's been kind of standing off on the side, kind of kicking rocks and trying to you know stand in there with his hands in his pockets, goes, "Oh, did, wait, did you need a hand, Blake? I, 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 why didn't you ask? Oh, I would help you." <laughs> oh no, I needed someone who actually has a little bit of muscle. Don't worry, Luther. Uh, yeah, Ethel's... while you're doing this, you hear the, the shotgun, Billy Bob's shotgun go off. <laughs> Don't worry, I've seen the shotgun. The buttstock is painted green, which means it only has beanbag rounds and not lethal ones. <laughs> after we get everything after we get everything in the new van, Ethel's gonna yell out to body, body! Punch it once Luther gets in here, we gotta run her down! <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> Guys, we need right. to get a flamethrower. These earwigs, they're, they're out of control. Oh, here you go. <laughs> She's I have infected. One. She can't escape. Do you really? Get, get, of course I do. <laughs> Is that the one that was we used on that dummy in my backyard a long time ago? Many years ago, yes, yes. I mean, it was like six months ago. But yeah, that's, I mean... Many yeah. years ago to some, I suppose. That's how it feels. Hit the gas, honey! <laughs> oh, fine, fine. Is the door closed? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to go great. Okay, I'll hit the gas. Billy Bob, where are you? Uh, I was still 20 yards from that other patient trying to stop her from running, I suppose. Yeah, Billy Bob's know. not in a van. He's out there with a shotgun. That's okay. I'm running her down anyway. Yeah, we're apparently. just trying to run her down because she's infected. She can't get away. Otherwise, we this whole mission was for nothing. <clears throat> and and to answer your question, Peter, yes, I do in fact have a flamethrower <laughs> that I give to um. <laughs> Are you gonna spend two uh, ten points of luck? Yep, yep. So Blake okay. has a flamethrower with full yeah. uh, fuel. Yes! Yeah, in the uh, <laughs> amongst their various items here in the back of the van, they actually had one. I am it's so how, ready how she to keeps, sanitize some shit. It's how she keeps the pizzas warm, you know, when she <laughs> delivers them. So, yeah. With that shitty car she used to drive around, yeah, she probably had a hard time getting them there while they were still warm. <laughs> do I, I do, do put the tank on my back and everything, and I'm, <laughs> I'm getting it ready. <laughs> okay, what do I need to do to run this hussy down? Uh, we can't let her get away. All right, give me a. Tell me what you're doing, and give me drive auto. I'm gonna stomp on the gas and crush her beneath it, <laughs> and then throw okay. it in reverse and do it again. Yeah, I think okay. I hit something. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, I did. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need from me, Peter? Uh, drive auto. I can be one of those. Uh, 24, so that's a uh, hard success. Okay, so is this straight ahead, just like like how are you striking her? Oh, I'm just driving straight onto her, and then just gonna 
make sure I hit the back of the legs first with the bumper and then she'll fall down and then the rest of the car will just smack her, well, uh, <laughs> smash her spine into her. Get her table. with the tires! <laughs> no, no, the tires aren't as effective. You have to begin by crushing the spine, then you reverse over with the tires. <laughs> okay. Uh, Billy Bob, uh, you see the van accelerate towards her about to hit her. I told you to get in the van, bitch. <laughs> if you don't come to the van, the van will come to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, give me. All right. Who is. So, we got Bonnie driving. Who's in the passenger seat? I don't think anybody yet, unless Luther okay. climbed up there. No, uh, Luther's, in, <laughs> Luther's in the back. You know, just trying to hold on. He he did not uh, take shotgun at this point. <clears throat> no, Billy Bob's got the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, and where is Blake? Is he in the back with the flamethrower? Yeah, uh, I think I, I'm. I, I'm in the other van, aren't I? No, no you, you and me. You and me pushed the coffin. Oh, across that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm with the coffin. Yep, yep. 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 So you're you and Ethel are in the back and. Yeah. Apparently Luther Luther's is in the back and Billy Bob is outside. Yeah, and we'll when Billy around, Bob sees the van accelerating toward her, the bitch, he's going to like sling his shotgun up on his shoulder and just casually start walking toward where her corpse is about to be. Okay. <laughs> so I need uh, Bonnie and Billy Bob to give me dodge roll. Okay. On success. What, what, what was it? Uh, 23. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 13. What's that roll against, Dex? Yeah, it'll be your dodge. You actually have a dodge. It's underneath the combat thing in the bottom right of the first uh, character sheet. Underneath combat. Oh. Oh, that's barely a pass. I have 17. Yeah, I have, I have 100 in dodge and rolled a 23. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Bonnie and Billy Bob give me con rolls. Uh, Bonnie, you get bonus die. I just today learned that earwigs are real bugs. I didn't know that. I was today years old. (laughs) (laughs) That is a normal pass for me. Okay. What's the bonus die again, Peter? Uh, roll two sets of tens and take the lower. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it went from 14 to 13, so that's a pass. Earwigs are disgusting. They are. We don't have them in Iowa. That's crazy. We have them here. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so, as you hit the doctor, she kind of, her head pops right off like a top <laughs> and explodes with all sorts of ichor and earwigs go everywhere. You manage to kind of like screen yourself and a few kind of like fall off you and they kind of writhe, they're like, the earwigs are just like writhing on the ground and some start to fill up the van because there is no windshield because it got a bunch of holes punched in it. That's why Luther jumps out the back of the van. (laughs) (laughs) Nope, 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 nope. No more bugs under my skin. I know. <laughs> I was just in the. I mean, to be fair, spot. Luther's probably had worse stuff all over him before. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but like, nope. There was I'll, one I'll, time I'll... at the White House, and you're complaining about it still. Billy Bob just I, happened I, I, to be the perfect right? like, spot as he was casually walking along. The van just blocked most of that. <laughs> <laughs> and it just looks like a big blob of mess. It kind of looks like Patient Zero when Blake body slammed him. <laughs> but it's not moving. Um, how, like, how much is in the van? There's just like a bunch of bugs. The earwigs seem to be flying around, like they have, they're winged. Wait, what? Oh, these are not your normal earwigs, guys. These fly. Blake, turn that flamethrower around. No, 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 don't burn the van. Don't, do don't, don't burn the van. I have pesticide. <laughs> Ethel's gonna hose out. Everyone out of the van! Yeah, I jump out. I'll stop the van. 
All right. <laughs> and then I'll step out after I put it in park. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ethel's going to sanitize the inside of the van once we get everyone who breathes out of the van. <laughs> okay. So the oh, dead bodies, the, it's, the dead bodies are in there. I'm going to go and back the, and scorch the doctor's body. Okay. Whatever's left of it. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're burning whatever's left on the on the road. Um, Which has suction erection from doing this right now with the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ethel's just gonna hose hose down the inside of the van with the pesticide, and then roll the windows down. <laughs> Everyone back in the van. Are you crazy? Hey. You got to rinse that thing out. <clears throat> we don't have time. The police will be here any minute. What so who had, is there a smell of pesticide? Is the broken is pesticide smell really strong? Mm -hmm. Luther darts to the back of the van and just starts huffing. And he's like, <laughs> 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 "Come on, hurry! It's it's fading fast." Luther, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bob's so, casually walking up, and as he passes the flaming debris, he's gonna turn and look at that bitch and be like, "See what happens when you don't listen." And then <laughs> in the van. <laughs> I'm happy I wore boots and pants today. So What's Luther, inside? you are huffing the uh, the, <laughs> the pesticide as uh, Ethel. You're fumigating this. It, it yeah. the van is filling up with with this pesticide. Well, yeah, the like bugs are the, still. The idea generally is is like roll the windows down, open the doors, and just kind of hose it and let it kind of waft out. Isn't there mm -hmm. only like one window on a van, like the the front? Yeah, it's got slider doors. <laughs> yeah, it's got the sliding doors and the back. Doors. Oh, okay, yeah, leave the slider. So up. they're okay, all open. <laughs> Luther with a big ass goofy smile looks back at everybody. He's like, Hot box, guys, close the doors. <laughs> hell no, Luther. Hell no. <laughs> uh, I will definitely be right there at the sliding door so I can keep my head out, the, out there the whole time. Hey. Uh, so, Ethel, as you are, like, I assume you got all the windows, everything's open, and you're just fumigating. All the bugs are still in this van, just kind of flying around. They don't seem to be affected. Uh, Luther, you feel something touching your thigh. Uh, define what, like, define I feel. Does it feel like a bug, I guess? Is what no, it feels like a hand. <laughs> he seems excited. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, Luther continues to huff. <laughs> but he looks down. Uh, he looks down at his thigh. Karen? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you see that I one of the. I thought I washed that peanut butter off. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? You see one of the dead bodies in here. The hand is kind of like on your thigh, like touching it. Okay. So Luther, um, Luther is continuing to huff and he's looking down at the dead body. He's like, hey. I didn't even notice you there. What like it, these guys are idiots, right? They're wasting this. What's going on? Your what's your name? Lou, Luther Louis Styles. Call me Louis. Like I, it's great to meet you. <clears throat> and as it uh, it turn it turns and looks at you, um, its eyes open and they're it, they're black and their teeth you can see are now black. And they kind of slide over and go to take a big bite out of your thigh. Uh, okay. Uh, would you like to avoid that? Yes. Yeah. Luther, Luther, at this point, um, you know, the trip is getting bad again, and uh, he's, he's not not real happy with it. So do you want a uh, dodge or? So that would be a uh, fighting brawl. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. That is a fail. That's, a, that's actually a bad, bad fail. Um, <laughs> I rolled a 97. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you have in Fighting Brawl? Uh, in Fighting Brawl, I have a 25. So, okay. uh, yeah. Be right back. Your dog's dying. Okay. Uh, so, do you wish to push the roll? I do, because I don't want to turn into a zombie. Like, you know, so, um, although, yeah, so I'm going to... I'm gonna push, but man, there's gonna be a really, really bad consequence if I don't make this, right? You might. I'm gonna, push it. I'm gonna push it. Do it! Yeah! I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it. What are you doing? Uh, so that's you know, 
that's a little better. Um, but I, so that's a 50. And again, I still have a 25. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as you try to move out of the way, this thing just lays into your thigh and whoosh, lays its ah! teeth right into you. It rips a piece right out of your thigh. Uh, Ethel, whoever is in the back there, I'm sure you see this happen. Yeah, I'm standing right there. Ethel's going to dump three rounds into its head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the last three. Or, no, she's only got two left in the gun. So two rounds. Uh, that's a critical success with one of them and a regular success with the second one. Yeah, you don't need to roll damage. It just, you blast it, its head like explodes and all these little insects begin to fall out of it. Uh, Luther, you can give me a sand roll. Okay. That's a, that's a, a, a success. That's a man. Yeah, that's I mean, a- I think the pesticide is sort of kind of like yeah. helping you out here. Yep. yep. Uh, now you can give me a con roll. You're looking for a hard success. So I got I got a thirty, right? I need a fifteen, then, right? Mm-hmm. So for uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, that, a seven. So that's a seven. Wow. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, don't tell me the odds. <laughs> so yeah, right. Uh, so apparently all of the right, all of the the DDT running through my bloodstream right now has rejected the zombie uh, the zombie plague. Uh, you all you you took two damage from the bite. Okay, okay. Uh, this- so you guys see that the the bodies are starting to come alive. Everyone, Ethel's kick reloading. them out the out the back, and I'll torch them. <laughs> Ethel's reloading. <laughs> I, I don't do kicking, Will, as we saw earlier. Can, well, so can, is would Luther be able? So remember, Luther's got. Uh, uh, Luther actually does have a pistol. Can Luther fire back at this person? Yeah. Like, would I be able to make a counter attack? Uh, uh, Ethel that- blasted the first one, but the, there's three other bodies in the back here that are starting to move. Okay, yeah. so can Luther take a shot at one? Sure, go for okay. it. Uh, success. Okay. You don't need to roll damage. You blast it, it quits moving, and kind of just... Uh, you blow a hole in it and the bugs start to come out of it and it just kind of like desiccates right in front of you. Can so I curb I, stomp one? Luther puts his hand down on his thigh, looks up at Ethel and says, I done good, Ethel! <laughs> good job, honey! <laughs> Can I curb stomp one? Uh, you would have to get up into the van and stomp on it. Works for me. Okay. Give me a fight brawl. I failed. Bad. How bad? Ninety-seven percent. Add enough to push it. Oh, actually, I have a hundred percent in that, so no, I didn't fail. <laughs> yeah, that is not technically a fumble. Yeah, so there you go. I'm good. I, I succeed. Okay. Uh, yeah, you stomp it again. It like desiccates as the bu- the bugs start to come out of it. There is one uh, writhing dead body back here. Oh, fine. I'll just shoot the damn thing and we'll be done with it. <laughs> I'll just fire one round at it. From the front seat. Okay. Uh, 44, so hard success. Yeah, you... Yeah. You, you blast <laughs> it. Uh, and the, the van is now full of a lot more bugs, but at least the bodies aren't moving. Everyone get in and grab something. Honey, punch it so the wind blows them out. I'll turn the air conditioner up all the way, and I'll do that as well. Yeah, I'll so jump the, in and just grab hold of Ethel. Yeah, Ethel's Ethel's got a hold of like a one of the like because this is a pesticide van, so there's probably like a shelving on one side, right? Uh, what side? Like shelving. Inside the van, yeah, there's a little bit of shelves in there. Okay, Ethel's gonna like hook an arm in it and <clears throat> get ready for the the burning of the rubber. Yeah, so the the plan is to drive really fast and hope that they will blow out. Hopefully, with the AC on. If, full. if not, we'll have to park the van and find a new ride. <laughs> Luther looks down at his bleeding, bloody thigh and looks mm-hmm. up at the rest of the group, and he's like, "All right, 
one of you guys gotta bite the bullet and suck the zombie poison out. <laughs> <laughs> Luther, that's not how zombies work. <laughs> Luther, you're flexible enough. You can do it, probably. Didn't you, didn't you have your lower ribs removed for that? <laughs> Come on, heard, Blake. I heard Don't Marilyn Manson do that. Don't you remember that time at summer camp? Don't pretend like you didn't do this before. <clears throat> it's true. Blake is very good with that party trick. I've not, how old are you? Luther, how old are you? Uh, I am uh, 30. I think I'm 32. Hold on, wait. I am. I'm, no, I'm 29. I'm 29. <laughs> okay. So still, we were probably not at the same summer camp. <laughs> uh, well, I, well, okay, maybe it wasn't you, Karen. Age gap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much younger than you, Luther. <laughs> yeah, Luther wants to go camp counselor. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the teen counselor. <laughs> yeah, but okay. But he was that, never there. That could that could be true, right? But like, I have done. I have done enough PCP in my life to where I am preserved. <laughs> like I, I'm a young 29, Blake. Okay, I'm. I'm just saying. So yeah. All right. Uh, so everybody, give me a spot hidden as you're in the van while ripping down the road. Hopefully, with all the windows and doors open to blow all these bugs out. That's a yeah, I just rolled a 99 percent. <laughs> like I'm one percent away uh, from finally failure. rolling 100 percent. Any math rocks? <laughs> yeah, nope. I'll, I Luther rolled a 97, and that's a success for me. I got a failure. All right. I got it's a it. critical success. Critical okay. success. Okay. Uh, Billy Bob, you noticed that the convenience store that was off to the road, um, off to the side, the lights flicker and go out for like a second and then just kind of come back on and then all the lights down on this row on the street just go out like uh street lights um traffic lights they just they they just are gone they're out somebody's garage lamp just blew up uh Bonnie, we, we need to get to wherever that chopper hit the ground we need that sanitation device now all right uh, does anyone have any idea where it hit the ground? Can we see smoke? Uh, Actually, Luther would know, right? Didn't Luther see the helicopter go down? Or no? Uh, you saw it, like, spinning around, but nobody ever saw it land. Got it. Okay, okay. Ethel, smoke. call your boyfriend. Ask him where he's at. Oh, that's true. Ethel does have the phone. She's gonna, she's gonna type in pond water and hit call. Uh... You just get the busy signal. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. Nope. Wait, give me your give me give me your phone, Ethel. No, yeah. don't do it. No. Yeah, no. So Billy Bob. So so no, Billy Bob. Trust me. Trust me on this one, right? So, um, so uh, Luther is a freaker, right? He basically he takes the phone. Uh, he hooks up. It looks like it's like a little MIS machine. He hooks it up to the back and dials through and it interrupts the busy signal it basically breaks the line from the busy signal and busts in and the operator comes in on the other side to your boyfriend and says uh the call has been interrupted um will you accept a call from from and then they the operator asks back and it's like ethel and and luther says ethel ethel <laughs> and the operator says will you accept a call from ethel and then i hand you the phone <clears throat> well wait let me roll i'm sorry Peter, let me. I, I should roll for that, right? But that's my that's my skill, yeah, man. Yeah, go like, for it. My, my thing. Uh, in eighteen. So yeah, I. That's a hard, hard success. It was even so. with all these bugs flying around, whatever. You just focused. Yeah, right. Like he's, I'm zoned in because I'm in my I'm in my zone right now. Like when I'm high, I'm I'm on it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, Ethel, you get somebody speaking Spanish on the other line. Hola. Uh, what are they saying? They're saying, uh, who, hello, who is this? Uh, Boris. Huh? No? No? Uh, I just found this phone. Where was it located? Uh, they tell you like a street. Was there a Russian man nearby? No? Helicopter? God damn it. And she just hangs up. What? what? <laughs> 
Yeah. So, yeah. As you guys are driving in this van with the windows <laughs> open, and the bugs have not left. They are still swarming in the van, and everybody gets to make another con roll. Oof. <laughs> I were to put on a white snake, what would that do to the bugs? <laughs> That's a regular pass for me. That's a fail for a blooper. That's a pass. Regular pass. Regular pass. All right. Uh, is it worth luck to pass, Luther? Do you want to roll up a new character, Luther? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> worth. So right. So I was. So I was four points off. Yeah, I think it's worth luck to. Okay. I think it's worth luck to pass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So none of the bugs find purchase in any orifices or other things. Uh, they just manage to just annoy you. But they are still in the van. They have not blown out. Buddy, it looks like they're not leaving. We need a new ride. See, Billy nice. Bob is used to this from riding the bike across country and stuff. There have been <laughs> bugs trying to get in my mouth for thousands teeth. of miles. I'm a professional. <laughs> Yeah, Blake, yeah. I still say you just turn the damn bl- flamethrower around. Like, we'll all get out of the van. We'll open up I'm the back doors. We'll open idea. up all the windows. You blast the, the you just blast the hell out of the inside of the van. Yeah. It'll be a little scorched, but Don't who like cares, those, right? Yeah, Bonnie and Ethel wanted to salvage the van. That's the only reason I haven't done it yet. Is there a flamethrowers shoot a, a gelled gasoline. You're not going to be able to put that out. So, you t- let's get a new vehicle. We got I got Luther, he can hotwire anything. That's I'm sure. Also, I got a pits right now anyway. I think here's what we all do, right? Like everybody suck up as much water as you can right now. We'll flame it and then we'll just put it out. It'll be fine. Like it, <laughs> it's worth a shot. Either way, either the van's gonna blow up and start on fire, or we can't use it because it's filled with freaking earwigs, right? Like so it's six on one hand, half a dozen on the other. I say we give it a shot. Also, it's just really cool to see Blake use it. Nice spot so, yeah. yeah, there are any more cars on the road. <laughs> yeah, there, there are thing? cars because this is basically like uh, uh, retail down this road. So there's all these stores, but they're closed. But there's cars along the side of the road park. Anything that looks decent size to there... carry a coffin. I was going to say, do we need to get anything out of here besides the coffin? <laughs> Can I, I find the We don't need the coffin. We need the guy in the coffin. Also, the con- keeping him alive. The convenience store is open. We could go see if there's cars in the parking lot, the convenience store parking lot. Peter, do we see any hearses anywhere? <laughs> no, you see, um, I can't think of what the car was that's got the wood paneling. A Woody? Oh, you're thinking of a, a Vista country, Cruiser. A Country Squire station wagon. There we go. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Bill. Yeah, or a Vista yeah. Cruiser. Yes, you they see both... one of those. That's about the right Perfect. size. Okay, I'll cut it off. All right. <laughs> no. All right, yeah. Uh, I probably, once everyone's out, assuming everyone's out, maybe Luke Don't shoot the window. Yet, I will light it on fire. <laughs> Don't shoot the window. Okay, the uh, what are you doing about the coffin? The oh. coffin's coming with us. Yeah, I will push the coffin out before I light it. And the vacuum okay. cleaner. Yeah, but guys, the, yep. does the coffin contain a dead body? Because in case you no, have it's alive, he's not he's alive. Dead bodies are coming back to life. So. <laughs> he's alive. He's alive. He was alive last time we opened it. Yeah, don't bother opening it again. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I will push the coffin out. Uh, not gently. Just push it. Uh, do I have to make like, a strength check? No, no. You can, okay. you, can, you can push this thing right out. And- okay. Off to the, the cement. And yep. then uh, I start moving it away from the van. I'd say like 15 feet out of the mm-hmm. van, off to the side. And then I turn yep. around and uh, assuming everyone's out, I start lighting the, the van on fire. And mm-hmm. I purposely try to catch uh, anything else on fire around it other than the one car we want. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just engulfs in flame, like the bugs are just being burned up. This was a great idea, guys. Anyone have any marshmallows? I don't think you want to roast anything on that. Ah. That's napalm. Billy Bob. Let's go, walk- people. Yeah, Billy Bob's gonna walk over to the station wagon and start tapping on the window. Out of the car. <laughs> uh, the, it's it's uh, just sitting there. There's nobody in it. Oh, okay. I thought we had car. cut. 
someone off in traffic is what I thought I heard. <laughs> That's what I thought we were doing too. I guess I was no, wrong. no. I mean, the car. It, there's not a lot of traffic at this point because a gas station has exploded and probably a helicopter crash. And uh, maybe a small nuke a few miles down. The there's road. <laughs> yeah. There's been kind of. You can still hear emergency vehicles. Uh, making their way to the scene. So a cold slow, Friday night oh, in Mexico. A, a slow, yeah, a slow Thursday night. <laughs> Mexico's <laughs> been invaded. They don't know by what you country. Focus. You gotta get us in this car. Can I try the door okay, handle? Okay. Is it unlocked? Uh, I got this, Ethel. I, I got this. I'm gonna try a, lo a lock. Okay. Pick. <clears throat> uh, zero, six, six. That's a yeah. success. That's a hard success. No damage yeah. to it. Boom. Easy. Uh, pop it. I got you, Ethel. Let's. let's you Get want me to started. try to hotwire this bitch? Yep. yep. Okay. So I will. Uh, so Luther takes pulls out his little uh, his uh, uh, switchblade, pops it into the ignition, and it and it the engine like turns right over. He looks up at Ethel. See, told you, done good, good done job, good. Honey, you were glad you missed me, didn't you, Ethel? <laughs> and I do. I scoot over to the the Let shotgun side you. and pop my white snake cassette into the cassette player and turn it right, off. Good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, guys, put the back seat down, and I need help getting this thing back up into the car. Uh, we we need the back seat. It's going to have to, like, yeah. No, it can't. It has to go it, it down so the down. casket can come in. I'm going to no. back the car up right to the casket so it's easier to get it in there. I still I need help walk. picking it up. I yep. turn and look at Blake. It is a station wagon. There are five of us. There's two bucket seats in the front. There's a bench in the back. And then there's a big, long trunk. The seat stays up. <laughs> Don't He's not lying. My dad had that exact same car. We drove caskets in there without putting the back seats we, down. We know. We we drove back and forth to, from Chicago to Florida for eight years in that freaking thing, and let me tell you, you could live in the back of that state. Are those, How many caskets did cars, you bring with you? Are those the cars that have the seat in the back that faces out the back window? No, it is not. Oh, okay. No, no. What was that? <laughs> That's like a rumble seat. I think you're thinking of. Uh, I don't know. You're it's thinking one of, of those like old a, like wooden station. A 1922 things. like. No, I don't, I don't no, know. No, 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 no. They had them in like the 60s. Uh, We've gone I'll completely off the rails here. I'll assist anyway, Blake with the way. Way. Yeah, I'll help Blake with getting it on. All right, if you guys say it fits, I'm cool with that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, throw it in there. We Once gotta we load up our pizza. unconscious patient, too. <laughs> Luther's checking the ashtrays yeah. for cigarette butts. Okay. You know, he <laughs> right now. Ethel, hand him a fresh one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Ethel. Thanks. You look like you could use one. I you you always take care of me, Apple. I I so I love you. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you guys managed to pack all that stuff up. Uh, Ethel, the phone begins to vibrate. She'll answer it. Uh, please proceed twenty miles north to the following coordinates that will be sent to you. Napalm is on its way out. Guys, we gotta get 20 miles north ASAP. Napalm's about to come down. Oh, shit. Billy Bob's go, in the middle of the back seat. Get in, boys. <laughs> put, put your foot down, Bonnie. Like, I. Don't forget the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, the vacuum cleaner's in here with us. <laughs> yep. I have the bag. It's in the so, center, uh, so, the next message uh, they call and give you a specific uh, coordinate where to go to. Yeah, and from, we can take from a break the back right seat, there. Ethel, hold it out in front of Bonnie so she can kind of get a sense of where to go. Okay. I have absolutely no idea. We're just heading north. <laughs> we can and I'll floor it. Alright. Oh, that's why it felt so weird. There was an earwig underneath my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, is that okay, Juice? We'll take a break right here. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what are, why is it all quiet? What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy finding a picture of what I was talking about that I didn't hear that. Yeah, no, let's take okay, a break. That sounds good. Okay. All right, guys, we'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> what happens when we let Luther? Yeah.
All right, break's over. We are back. Take her away, Peta. All right, so you guys are now, uh, you get coordinates, to, uh, and you're headed up 140 to uh, what you would assume would be some sort of safe house or someplace that you can, you know, report in or whatever. As you're passing in this two-lane road, you see there's a UNAS uh, vehicles going by, uh, then you start to see a couple like tanks go by and troop carriers are all headed down to uh, uh, Del Bulgario uh, for whatever is going on that they are providing their support. So you come up to uh, a UNAS office of uh, housing and Ur urban development that looks very, I mean, it's kind of in the, it's in the middle of nowhere. There's no other buildings around. The lights come on as you guys kind of pull in. Uh, and there is one, um, there's a garage and the garage door opens. All right. Pull us on in, honey. I'll pull us on in. Okay. Uh, so you pull in and the door closes. Uh, you look inside, you can see that there are uh, two people there waiting in hazmat suits. Um, and there's another person that is like next to a radio with headphones on. Uh, as we're on our way in, Ethel's going to roll one of the windows down. We need people with medical training. So the two people with the hazmat suits come over. Uh, what's the problem? Uh, do you, do you have, uh, do you have an infected with you? Yeah, we got one lady here. She's unconscious, and we have a very wounded man in a coffin. He might have good intel. And I'm missing okay. a chunk of my thigh as I drop trowel. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm showing, I'm showing the huge gaping wound uh, yeah. in my thigh. They're like, yeah, yeah uh, well, we should probably check that. Also, here's patient zero if you need him, and I'll hold up the vacuum cleaner bag. Yeah, they take the bag over um, to like a vinyl zipped area and that they've got cordoned off and uh, they take the, uh, they put the patient on a gurney and wheel her over there. You got some kind of decontamination area. Uh, there's a hose out back if you want to use that. Hey, is Boris here? Uh, he's out back. Okay, good. I was afraid I was going to have to take charge of the whole operation. <laughs> so, Luther. <laughs> so, Luther, how much do you think we can get for this car back home? Uh, I, I'm sure we could get some good money. I'm actually thinking right now, though, like, hey, medical folks, um, I, I need some sort of painkillers, right? Like, I don't, you know, benzos, you know, some sort of sedative. I don't, I need something man i'm not feeling really good i i need i need, I need something uh we've got some uh motrin motrin what yeah. do, what do i look like a child like what? I, there's a gaping hole in my i need some benzodiazepine and i need it now like i stat like right right now a sip of water snobbishly I shot one of the trank darts at patient zero, and someone shot one at Blake. Was that the only two we fired? The other one was in Ethel's leg. Billy Bob, uh, you, Billy Bob, you have tranks, and you didn't tell me? Like, what? <laughs> all gone. They're all gone, Luther. We used yep. them. Oh. Is that what was stabbed uh, in my neck? Ethel's going to change the bandage not. in her arm from where she got shot by the cop earlier. Blake, you gotta understand, you were out of control. You were trying to kill everything that moved. You were swearing at all of us were commies. The people on the sidewalk were commies. I mean, I'm sure I had good reason to believe that. No, oh, you really didn't. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. All right, propofil. I'll I'll settle for propofil. I, any sort of barbiturate, anything? <laughs> like, anything? After Ethel's done changing her bandage, she'll walk over and bandage Luther's leg. Thank you. Thank you, Ethel. I just, like, even just some super glue, hell, I'll take rubber cement at this point. I just, like, this is just, this is bad. So, yeah, this is bad. 
She so just I, hands you her half-finished cigarette. <laughs> at this point, the door to, like, you would presume the back opens and closes and Boris steps through. He is in a, a, a cut-off shirt and his and some pants that are kind of like the torn and burned, smoking a cigarette. Ah, I see you've uh, made it back. Uh, excellent work. Do you get back so fast? It, uh, I had pickup. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I I didn't realize that we were, I didn't realize we were dressing up for this occasion, Boris. Like I would have, I would have dressed up if I, you know, knew you were gonna be in uniform. Ah, Luther, good to see you. How was your uh, little sabbatical with uh, uh, at Shitty Call? Don't, don't don't even don't even ask Boris. Bo- hey, B- Boris, you I'm sure you have some like Advans or something on you, right? Like I, I hold on, just, let I, me look. And he reaches in his pocket. He hands you uh, like three pills. Little no, uh, I, Jimmy Simpkin sold them to me. Said they are good, so you can take them. I'm sure. Luther, Luther throws all three into his mouth and just swallows them immediately. Um, uh, you should be fine. <laughs> So, Boris, did the sanitation device survive the helicopter? Senna, what are you talking about, Billy? The, the sen- we didn't have the second one. Yeah, there was no second one. one. That's why I had to call in the napalm, take care of uh, whatever was left. Okay, because you left us at that clinic, and you told me you were going to go get more sanitation. In case yes, I had, but uh, we were out, and, of course, uh, then things went sideways. I heard explosions Real and bad. reports of... Uh, Things going on. I had to return. Boris, are you sure we're working for a government agency? I mean, we were out of little. Who else would get to do this shit? (laughs) By the way, boss, we need some way of dealing with the local authorities. Otherwise, we just get shot at. Or are you just shooting them in the first place? I mean, no. I clearly remember the last time we got shot at by the authorities. We did not fire the first shot. In fairness, Boris, it is easier to just kill people first. And like, yes, you know, that's I, true. Everyone, that is life advice. <laughs> IRL. <laughs> but if so, we had some form of badge or something like that, something official. Not a badge. We don't need no yeah, badges. 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 <laughs> I will get you a special badge, uh, that uh, you can, you know, you'll be able to walk through and get in front of lines and things. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity, is that what you want? No, I just want to be able to pull people over and frisk them and confiscate their stuff. Like, that's all. Like, I just, you know, I, if it'll help me do that, then I'm, Boris, yes, I, yes, you, you got me. Buddy, as usual, we are, man, we are right there. I, I so what did you learn? What is? Uh, I think we have handled mission. Yeah. So Ethel will go over to the cop. And, well, I think this man is harboring information. Well, let's open it up and see what's inside. Of uh, you brought coffin. This is excellent. Oh shit! Um, uh, yeah. Bob is yeah. getting shot. I don't down know. Leveling it with that. where that coffin lid's about to open. No. Ethel slowly opened the lid of the coffin. Okay. You look in, there's no body in there. There's some clothes, but there is no body. Son of a bitch escaped. Well, I was his clothes? His clothes. <laughs> Wait, what is- you, you have saved clothes for me. I- <laughs> <laughs> well, your pants are a bit beat up right now, boys. That's the best. Yeah. Put, put these on instead, and I'll give him the doctor's pants. <laughs> there was a bandaged man. How the hell did he get out of our van into the other van? Thank you, pardon? The bandaged man that went into the convenience store. Uh, I told Ethel, I told you, you should have let me go after him. How the hell did he get out of our van and into the van that they brought you in? I don't know. I woke up, Karen was there. The, the man we put in the coffin was the doctor. Yeah, but there was a naked man with bandages on him going towards the gas or the convenience store. Guys, maybe they're the not zombies. The doctor was maybe wounded like, and we gave him bandages to patch himself up. But maybe they're not 
zombies. Maybe they're like vampires, and he turned into gaseous form and escaped with the the pesticide gas. Well, that definitely. No, they are not vampires. Vampires are on our side. <laughs> That's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my test results back that might be true Horace I think you need to tell us what the hell is going on here a little more info would be helpful what are we dealing with here as far as what these damn bugs in this infection right these aren't commies Boris come on like this what what's the real deal far as you went down here to investigate the uh, oil rig. No, we came down here to get a helicopter. That's right. And then shit went sideways from, oh, I don't know, about the moment we landed down here. Ethel's, the Ethel's good. We to come oh, sorry. Oh, I was saying, uh, we were told to get a helicopter, which we did. Then we were given another mission with the helicopter, which was to get patient zero and drop a nuke in the middle of us. Yes, we were fixing issue with the, the we were fixing shit show from Jim, who has been reassigned. Jim, what did Jim do this time? Jim gave you assignment, you know, remember to go to oil rig. It, uh, he did yeah. not fill us in on all information. So he has been reassigned. Don't worry. So what was the full scoop on the oil rig with the big tentacle monster thing. The report was they found something in water. Yeah, but what the hell do we think it is? We believe it is uh, potentially spacecraft. That moves like a living creature? No, that uh, is charged with a certain uh, energy and that obviously caused these problems. So how do we it caused people that? to puke up bugs, choke up bugs, and come back from the dead? I don't know. We have to talk to the doctor. Um, he is uh, has more of the know than I. But well, apparently to... he claims he has dealt with this before. Yeah, we need to get some goddamn info as fast as possible. Because we're fighting blind here. Well, you, apparently you fight pretty good as far as the body count and all the shit you've blown up. I mean, I can't imagine what you'd do if you could see. I said, wait, the more information we can get on this threat, the better. Well, Let's bring have... patient zero to the doctor. Or what's left of him. Already handed him off to the uh, people here. The body's being taken care of for the patient. Well, uh, what did you collect? Uh, did you have anything else in addition to this? Oh, what else? The uh, very strange coffin with all the tubes and things in it. The, um, the sick lady from the clinic. Sick lady. The patient. Uh, wasn't someone yelling something about reptile people earlier? Yeah, yeah. yeah Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you brought the. So yeah, yeah. Their skin comes right off, and they're they're reptilian people, and not like you know, it's like not like the reptilian people, like you know, Obama, right? Like not that. Yes. I like like real <laughs> reptilian people, like like alligator skin. It was insane. So they look different than the reptile people that are Obama. Yeah, they look different than than those people, but like it's still, it's it, they're they're reptile people, real reptile people, real reptile people. I swear. Do you know anything about also, them? By the Boris. way, thanks, Obama. Uh, no, no, guys, that party's in office again. You can't say things like that. Uh, I have heard. Uh, <laughs> no, it's only two thousand and eight. So I have heard the rumors. <laughs> I have heard the rumors of uh, reptilians. Here's a question for you then, Boris. What do you know about earwigs that can fly and are immune to pesticide? It sounds like a big problem. They it was. Yeah. They seem to be coming out of the bodies of the dead here. And the living, I should say. Yeah, the, the lady who was uh, accompanying our <laughs> unconscious patient, she was coughing him up left and right. Yes, uh... We have been. I've been told by doctor this is big. Uh, this this is big problem. That's why we had to sanitize area. So wait, if this is the case, and Ethel, if you're thinking that uh, that our guy who was in the coffin actually somehow escaped and made it to the convenience store, 
Don't we need to go back to the convenience store and clean up that mess? Nope, it's about to be on napalm it fire. Is. Oh, it's either right. about to be burned, or he got away already and we have no clue where he went. Got it, got it. Are you were telling me that you put person in coffin and they vanish? Yeah. Yes. Well, except hey, for their clothes. So. It never opened. I locked it on the outside, and apparently this is the same doctor who attempted to kill uh, Billy Bob as well. I don't think when we were trying to collect patient zero. How many times you shoot him? Uh, one, two. Billy Bob gave him a shotgun round. I hit him twice or three times, something like that. And I think he went down after that. And didn't you say something about him being French or something? Oh, Oh, I had a. When was the last time somebody checked the expiration date on those tranquilizer darts? Because, I mean, I put one of them in that dude's throat, and he was fine. We put one of them in Blake. Hell, somebody shot Ethel. You shoot Blake with tranquilizer. That is funny. Well, they don't work, is the point, Boris. Hey, it wasn't very funny to me, okay, Boris? It still hurts. I got a knot in my neck now where he stabbed me. No, you have a nice egg on the top of your head, too. How did that happen? (laughs) That's a great question. I wish I knew. (laughs) Oh no, Blake, that's not a knot on the back of your neck. That's an earwig. <laughs> also, I, I don't mind testing the tranks before you shoot them. Like, I'll, we will, I'll I will tell them to change mixture so it is better next time. We'll How test them on Luther. He just volunteered. Oh, we'll Luther. find out if they work before we use them in the field. More chloroform next time. Hell, back in my day, we just used a can of ether and a rag. <laughs> yes, but that took some time. Chloroform's a bit quicker, though not by much. Honestly, your best bet is probably a flat mallet. The butt of General Custom. Now we know where. Good. Now we know where the egg on Blake's head came from. So. <laughs> hmm. So Boris, what's our next step? I don't know. We need to collect information from what we've gathered here to see if we can figure out what is going on. When can right. we go home? Where's the doctor? Doctor is in uh, Crystal Springs. There will be a flight uh, later today that will take uh, these uh, sorted items over here back to back to Nevada. And us? I don't know. It depends on uh, what situation is. If we have more to do. All right. Well, what do we do in the meantime? You will uh, get the chance to recuperate. Rest uh, if you need it. Uh, and uh, check any uh, any additional information that you may have gathered. You got a uh, pair of forceps. If, yes, why? Because I think I still got a slug in my arm. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, we will patch you up. Uh, don't forget you have the uh, you grab the clipboard from the van. Oh, that's right. We have the other clipboard. Yes. We have a clipboard? I don't remember this at all. Yeah. Oh, Bonnie grabbed Ethel's, the clipboard. Yeah. yeah Bonnie first Ethel's going to give uh, give back Boris his his uh, Soviet clipboard. Oh, thank you. Now I remember. Much. Thank you. Excellent. Still in good condition. Yeah, you're lucky. Only thing she didn't use is a weapon all day. Okay. Yeah, she's going to take stock, reload, and uh, reload the China Lake because she fired two rounds out of it, so it's only got one left. Okay. It's actually a good question. Is there a uh, hotel around here somewhere where we sure. can clean up? No, there is... Uh small shed out back that has the showers and uh, other things. Maybe a Walmart where we can get clothes that aren't covered nah. in blood and ichor and everything else under the sun? <laughs> now, uh, Ethel's going to take off the, the jumpsuit. <laughs> <clears throat> Luther looks down at himself and says, nah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Doesn't smell it. like pesticide? Another couple, three days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, all right. So I would assume that since you had for 
forgotten about the clipboard. It basically was uh, for work. Um, okay. As opposed okay. to fun, like clipboard. Um, it, it was it was an uh, invoice for work. Like oh, few, gotcha, gotcha. So, okay, sorry. Def, uh, like she's doing two working. things. Uh, it was basically for fumigation. Uh, but on the back were some notes, and I'm going to put those in the chat right now. Um, those are the notes that were scribbled on the back of it. Well, that's not good. <laughs> They've gone to Chile. That's so, uh, that's a few borders they've been crossing there. So to translate, uh, the first thing says uh, doc. That's the word for doc, doc 17. And the last word there is ship. That's Boris good. comes over and he, uh, since you gave him the pants to wear, he takes out, uh, empties the pockets. There are two passports he puts on the table. Now I found these in the pockets. Oh, should we see who they're for? Mike, give us a clue on where he's headed. I don't speak a word of Spanish. Who can read this? I'm translating right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell your your voice doesn't sound too good. Have you not had anything to drink, Grandma? No, I oh, need no. another cigarette. Is the mesothelioma <laughs> kicking in again? <laughs> it's the asbestos. I, I Guys, I think we're going to take a cruise. I so think, like, I, one... Like, like, Oh, sorry. One is a uh, uh, Chilean, pa uh, Chilean passport for a Dr. Vincent Gonzalez, and the other is a Sudanese passport for a James Davenport. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it looks like our next locations are either going to be Chile or Sudan. Can I flip through the passports, Peter, and see what national stamps are inside for where they've gone before? Uh, they have been to basically uh, to UNAS, Veracruz, this place. Okay. And they have been to... That's a good question. Where else have they been? And how old are these passports? Are they like only a year old, so they're relatively new? Are they approaching? Yeah, the 10 they're, they're old? yeah, it's, they're about they're about a year old. Okay. Uh, one has been stamped uh, Jamaica, and the other one is uh, Guatemala. Well, 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 Jamaica, Guatemala, Chile, Sudan, and UNAS. What are you guys feeling, ganja or cocaine? Where, like, that's I, that's where do you want to go? You want to go up or down? I'm, I was about to ask you, Luther, if these were some of your drug running friends. <laughs> so I actually, Luther thinks for a second, long and hard, and then he pulls the IDs out of his pocket that he pulled off of the two dead guys in the van, and he's looking at he's looking at those IDs. What are the names? So of from the uh, the name is. Uh... Uh, George Ramirez, uh, Roberto Rodriguez. Are they UNAS IDs? Yeah, or they're are from they... here. Okay, okay, all right. Well, what do you think? Shall we check out the Bella Princea? It's a tough Shall call. We? I don't know, man. I'm up for some shuffleboard on the Lido deck, guys. Let's like I'm like I'm I'm down. Uh, Boris, would you happen to have access to a ship manifest to be able to tell us what type of vessel that is? Uh, that is uh, sounds like cruise ship. I think I, that name looks familiar. You could take cruise, I guess. Wait, we're going on a cruise? So Luther was right. Who's paying? I don't have any money. How much uh, do you need? How much the cruise oh. costs? I'm broke. I haven't even gotten a paycheck. We'll put it on the company yeah. account. Don't worry. Yeah, I was assuming that this was, you know, so comp, right. Like uh, trying to figure out the uh, like the steps here. So we got one one thing telling us to go to Chile. We've got 
other things. I'm just missing all the locations because there, there were so many locations I need. Okay. Yeah, line. you've got the notes scribbled on the the fumigation yep. invoice. Yes. It basically looks like <laughs> something about Chile and a boat and the dock and the time where it's going to leave. And then you've got two passports that were found on the person that you put in because they left their clothes. And one was to, one was a Chilean passport and one was a Sudanese passport. Um, can we? And one went to Jamaica and one went to Guatemala. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's get a, can we get a location on where that ship's headed? Like what, what route the cruise ship is going to be taking? Maybe if some of those places line up, it might be look worth looking into. I also have uh, this I want you to take a look at, Boris, and I'm going to pull out the ring I found in the notebook. Before we get too oh. far along. <laughs> okay. Uh... Right. I am going to put picture of the um, the ring that you found, what it looks like in an email so you can look at it if you wish. Hmm. Uh, so, Bonnie, give me a psychology roll. Psychology? That's some of that education stuff, isn't it? Okay. Oh, that's close. That's really close. I rolled an eight and I need a one. Uh, <laughs> can I lock it? Can you I have a 1% in psychology? I have 1% in psych. No, I have 10% in psychology. I'm, okay. I'm good. Actually, I rolled an eight. Yes. I was looking at psychoanalysts. <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, I have dysgraphia. That means I'm an idiot. <laughs> um so when you show Boris the ring, you can tell that he is taken back by it, though he is trying to hide it. Oh, but uh, it's nice you pick up a ring. Boris, what does this ring mean to you? Um explain where you found the ring. It was on a uh, person. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, that, is, that kind of narrows it down. Uh, <laughs> yes, it was on, uh, I want to say the doctor. Was it the doctor? The doctor was wearing one just like that, but we never took his ring. Yeah, we never took it from the doctor. It was on the... Uh, you got uh, it off that uh, man in the black trench yeah. coat. The uh, black trench coat man. What does the trench coat man do? Caused problems, if I recall correctly. Didn't you tell me he hit you with a big gust of wind? Yep, he tried to uh, knock me down but with a massive gust of wind, and it uh, failed. He had some type of powers that I can't quite explain. Ex what do you, some kind of power? What do you mean? Uh, to uh, manipulate air and wind, and he was, uh, oh, I, I believe, Blake, you were with me, with him as well, the man in the trench coat. And it was after seeing him that that thing happened to you as well, where you started accusing everyone of being a Russian. Oh, in the alley, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I killed him, didn't I? Yes, you did. And, that's and that was about the last the thing I remember before I kind of blacked out. Yes, and after that, everyone was around. Peter, I don't think I saw anything happen to him, but Blake, did you see anything right before you blacked out? No, I killed him and then I think it happened. Hmm. That's... I don't really know how to explain it. Where did he come from again? Because you saw him. 
out of uh, nowhere, essentially, and you pointed him out. Yeah. Did we see where he came from? We killed just the guy, kind of... popped up on us, and then didn't we chase somebody else down? And then that was when we saw him in the alley? Yep. Yes, we went ahead and we engaged the two uh, security security guards, because you had the shotgun at the time. You killed the first one, the other one tried to flee. I gunned him down. And then that's when the doctor and the patient tried to escape us, and we went after them. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and I... uh, You ran after them and I was behind you. Then that man attempted to injure us by throwing a gust of wind or something. Yeah, it was like some weird magic or voodoo or something. Yes, yes. That's what it was. He did like some gesture, and then there was a huge gust of wind that made us start shooting him. Does that make sense to you, Boris? Anything like that before? Unfortunately, it makes lots of sense. He lights another cigarette. Let's go outside and talk. All right. I got the bastard! (laughs) Ethel pulls the, the slug out of her arm. So, oh, that's not a slug, that's a leech. So he leads you out backside. There's like a, you know, uh, there's a the, like a little outhouse building shed that's got showers or whatever in it. And a uh, water hose out here with a bucket. And it's, you know, nothing else is out here. So last time I see this, this ring you showed me, it was uh, one my father had. Your father? Yes, it, it belongs to a group. Uh, uh, they were known as the Cult of Stalin. It they were sounds, worshippers of him. Sounds very Russian. Sounds kind. Yes, it does. Phil's going to try and use her insane memory to see if she remembers any programs that they came across in, uh, you know, in like when during her time as a CIA, you know, any files or programs that the, the uh, communists might have been working on. Okay. Very good. So, so now we're playing Wolfenstein, the Communist Order. Let's see. Insane Recall. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, give me education roll with a bonus die. All right. What's the bonus die? It's the 10 die, so you get... All right, so it's the... Which half of the 10s is it, though? The, the big half. They got, <laughs> oh damn! Then that's a twenty. That's that's a that's a ex- almost no. That's a hard success. <clears throat> uh, so you uh, recall doing some work research. You'd heard of this group, the Cult of Stalin, uh, and from your understanding, as soon as uh, Khrushchev took control, he pretty much purged all of them. They were I supposed to be they dead. Were all wiped out. Uh, and they basically hid in the shadows. They were supposedly occultist practicer, practicing like black magic and other uh, nefarious things. I think they were like the communist counterpart to the men who stare at goats. And I believe the men who stare at goats were just a myth. Oh no, honey. That all happened. You're telling me that they really stored goats and face through walls and put LSD in the drinking water? And now you remember. Hey, can LSD in the drinking water, can you still join that? Is that still, <laughs> like, can I volunteer for that uh, that detail? I think that's regular army, not national guard. <laughs> and now you remember that the priest who they tried to kidnap was a member of this group. And they were trying to they were trying to to get him back because he had fled. Yeah, the high priority target I was trying to save in uh, what was that Rome? Italy, yes. Southern Italy, it was not. Yeah. Rome. In, in southern Italy, we were trying to capture a, a priest. I think he was trying to defect or something. He's the member of that same cult. And that's also what this doctor had on his hand. That's why it explains why he was in coffin, then out of coffin. 
So Boris, this isn't like a family tradition, is it? You said your father had that ring. You, you, you're not like you didn't get grandfathered into this thing, did you, Boris? No, I didn't. Did not belong. Father uh, left it. Uh, it. It did not. Uh, it was not what uh, he thought it was supposed to be. He was very disillusioned at the end. What do you know about this cult, Boris? I know that their objective is to bring Stalin back. Like they will go the at grave. all means to do so. How would they... Oh, why am I even asking? The earwigs seem to bring people back quite effectively. They're probably looking for a more refined version of that. They should, they should try Twitter. There's a lot of Stalinists and Maoists on Twitter <laughs> lately. <laughs> Facebook isn't bad either, except Sorry. we don't have any... <laughs> internet unfortunately <laughs> I agree um, well it sounds to me like we're going to have to somehow get into this group and destroy it from the inside out anyone have any brilliant plan for how we would go about joining we have to all pretend we're Russian da I think it's expanded more than just Russians now. I believe. Okay, because I don't speak well. Russian, so I would suck at this. <laughs> Do you speak Chinese? Or <laughs> Mandarin? No. Korean? No. Italian? How about we just say no to everything you're going to ask? <laughs> English. <laughs> well, even English is not my my best language. I think we definitely need to find out where this cruise ship makes stops along its cruise oh, and see if any of those locations match up with the passports. So guys, I, I just want you to hear me out on this one, right? Like I know I don't give you a lot of reason to trust me. I fully understand that I don't give you a lot of reason to trust me, but I'm a really, really, really good actor and fast talker, like to the point of, you know, 85% in my acting and, you know, like, so I'm 85% good at my acting and I'm 90% good at my fast talking most of the time, right? I think if I got a clean pair of clothes and put this ring on, I could probably pass. Like. Boris, if you just tell me everything that you know about these folks, I, I could probably pass as a cultist. We could pose as new initiates and you're the one who's bringing us in. I think he has Boris, to chag. do you still remember any of the, uh, the details about their mannerisms, maybe secret handshakes kind of things? <clears throat> uh, father was... Uh did not discuss much of it at all. He just uh, told me to stay away from them. But I don't think you can just kind of walk into a group like that. Uh, but definitely finding where this cruise ship uh, is intent to go. Maybe that's, uh, we need to at least do that. Did your father own a suit, Boris? Of course he owned a suit, why? We might need it for Luther. I don't, it is back in Crystal Springs. I don't, uh, what? Uh, I will go to a store and get uh, Luther a suit. Boris, just just get us five tickets for the cruise ship. Men's warehouse. <laughs> but wait, Billy Bob, I still want that suit. <laughs> like I'm just saying, uh, forty too long, please. Thank you. Why you you won't even bait? Why do you want a suit? You're uh, like you might look nice, but anybody who gets within twenty feet knows you're not nice. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll there's get him a, cleaned there's a, up. There's a shed and a shower out back. It's fine. But you won't use it. We know you won't use it. I'll use it. I'll use it, Billy Bob. You can count on me this time. I promise. This time I mean it. Yeah, yeah Inside not check. Not again. <laughs> I've got faith in you, Luther. Thank you, Apple. We believe. <laughs> yeah, you can con the old lady, but you can't con me and Blake. Ain't that right, Blake? Of course not. I don't trust Luther as far as I can throw him. And I can throw him really freaking far. Blake. That's a lot of trust. Come on, man. I know you don't mean that. You know we're He'll best. shower, though, if there's like a hit of something on the other end of that shower. <laughs> I'm actually feeling good right now. Those three pills that Boris gave me, I'm like, I'm ready to shower and I'm good to go. Like That'll yeah, last yeah. five minutes. I, I'm <laughs> going to pull out 
my bag of about a gram of something in a clear baggie that is white. And I'm going to say, Luther, once you finish showering and clean yourself up very nice, this is available to you. Luther doesn't even say anything. He runs to the back. <laughs> he's taking his clothes off as he's running back to the shed. Bonnie, uh, Bonnie, isn't that just pixie sticks poured into a bag? Yes, but don't tell him. Okay, I won't. <laughs> All right. Well, in the meantime, I'd like to have a chat with the doctor, see if we can find out some more information. Do you mean doctor at, in Crystal Springs? What do you What do you mean? Oh, he's all the way in Crystal Springs. I yes, thought he was he, here. No, he's not here. He does not like to travel. Uh, what's today's date? Today is the fourteenth. The sunrise is not. The first sunrise is not hit yet. 14th time right now I, I thought it was the first time I've, I've been gone for two weeks what the fuck is going on what's the time right now the it's, actual time yeah 7 38 p.m pacific it, it is like 4 a.m on the 14th so we have to get on that cruise ship today if it checks out okay what port is it leaving from Box 17. Yes, which port, though? Mule. You will go down, down to Veracruz at, uh, and look for dock number. Should be easy to find. It is uh, it is very nice ship, is from what I hear. Okay, once we get cleaned up, we'll hop in the car and head out there. Billy Bob's going to turn to Boris and be like, see, there it is. You've heard about the ship already, which means, again, you know more than you're telling us. I already said Bella Prince is is nice ships. It's cruise ship. How did you know to ask about the ship? What do you mean? It is on back of note. I read note. I am from the ship. <laughs> we we gave you the note. You asked about the note while we were standing here. Who did you ask? Who did you ask about the ship while we were standing here? You knew about the ship, Boris. You knew. I did not know about ship. Walks away. What is wrong with him? Does this this, uh, this favorite shirt get uh, damaged or something? I pick another one up at Walmart for you. He hasn't had a, his regular bike ride in a few weeks, so. Yeah. Do you think you could get the doctor to send us some kind of, you know, something, some way of fighting this uh, this disease? Look, doc, he is uh, Lucifer is very picky about uh, giving information over radio. So I will talk to him to see what he says. Hey, Boris. Thank you. Can, can you get me one of those shotguns that Billy Bob has? You know, I, I had the chance to shoot that a little bit, and I was really excited by that. We'd <laughs> love to have one of those on our next mission. You Okay, I all right. We in the suit. I get the Billy Bob new shirt. I pick up shotgun. What yeah. else? Uh, something for me and my grandmother to wear on the cruise. Oh, my God. In, in this time, you could actually get all those things at Walmart. You could buy a shotgun. Yep. You could buy a suit. I will go into town and take care of this. So you rest up, and then we will go down to... Uh, we will, you will make your way Luther, to dock and find out what happens. Luther yells from the shower, and if you could stop through the in and out drive through on your way back, it'd be great. I got the money. He does. <laughs> Okay, if, double, you can double, make an ext- if you can make an extreme success on a luck roll, there will be an In-N-Out burger. Oh, shit. <laughs> we just got an In-N-Out out here up in Humboldt County, and it's fucking amazing. Uh, I, I, I failed. Uh, he, Is it worth it, pushing it? it? So, <laughs> <for> the- <laughs> no. <laughs> Slips in the shower and dies. <laughs> Uh, so if you, uh, so the doctors here will do some first aid. If you want to roll a D4, you will get, uh, if you took damage, you'll get D4 back in uh, HP. Oh, nice. After Ethel dug the slug out of her own arm. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, not 14,018 health, just 18. <laughs> God damn. Was our max HP like 20? Mine was 28. Depends on what your rolls were. Okay. So, and you said a D4 of... Yep. Okay. Damn it. I didn't take any damage. One. Woo, woo. <laughs> These not. doctors That's suck him. balls. He murdered everything that got within half a mile of you before anything could hurt you. Like, oh, I didn't take any damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will the- allow you to get sand back if you want to. Um oh, yeah. 
Uh, I need so, to. so Luther for for the sand, uh, I need three items: uh, person, place, and thing. Person, place, and thing that okay. you use to help recover sanity. Uh, okay. Uh, using one of those uh, items, it becomes a regular sanity check. You lose. You use two of those items. You get a bonus die, and then the third doesn't add up. Failing when you use those items, you get a tick mark, and eventually that item becomes ineffective. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you want do I do you want me to tell you what my stuff is, or do I like do we reveal this, or uh, if you want to keep it hidden, that's fine. Uh, so I think. Um, like I think that I will. I want to tell. I'll tell people my thing. I do not want to reveal my person or place because it's okay. kind of a surprise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, my thing is uh, I carry a picture of my Oma around in my wallet. Uh, my my grandmother and she is the like. So when my parents sort of abandoned me, she raised me. Uh, you know until she had passed away, and so she is my she is my thing. The picture of my grandma. So like I pull okay. I pull that picture out of my wallet and I just kind of look at it and uh, okay. see if I can regain some sand. So yeah, and I can. So you uh so you passed. What, Yes. So uh, D six. Six. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, three. So. All right. All right. Ethel's gonna spend some time uh, with Bonnie, helping her clean her gun, and then Ethel's also gonna clean her handgun, General Custer. Okay. <clears throat> that's and that, two, that's two things, right? So you get a bonus yep. die. Yep. So that's a, uh, that's a, what is it? What do you roll against for that? Your, Your current sanity? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's a, that's like a 19 and I have a 51 in my current okay. sanity. So give me a D6 roll. You've recovered some sand. I regain one point of sand. Okay. That's, that's a theme. I'm going to spend time helping my grandma spending time with her, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the car and just out of boredom, just start driving around in circles, so I'm doing something. Okay. My usual stuff. Doing donuts. Yep. I'm bored. All right. So, I did. That works. That's a 17 out of 72. All right. The D6. Six. Three. All right. Do you have any of your stuff, Blake? Do you need to make a phone call? My stuff is not on me. Um, Isn't the person can you call? It wasn't yes, your brother? Yes, it is my brother. Okay. Uh, also, actually, you know what? Also, if I could somehow... Is there like a... We're in Mexico, right? Correct. Is there a store, like a sports paraphernalia store, that okay. might have wrestling masks? Luchadori masks, I bet they have. Ooh. Uh, okay, all right. So uh, I would probably be looking for my wrestling mask in these places. All right, give me a luck roll. I think my luck is very oh it's 37 yeah no 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 you do not find one damn it all, all i got is a stupid ray mysterio mask damn it <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even fit but i bought it anyway uh okay so yeah i, I guess i could call my brother that okay work all right so it's a straight up roll okay and it has to beat my current sanity correct correct all right i failed my brother is a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't answer. <laughs> yeah, he didn't answer, and I'm really upset about it. It's four in the morning. What I left him a voicemail. Cut, saying, cuts, cut scene to Blake's brother looking at his phone and, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving All a right. voicemail. Uh, I'm in Mexico. I went into a store that I thought was going to have my wrestling mask. It's not there. God, this sucks. I really <laughs> wish I could have talked to you. Call me back as soon as you can, okay? He's it might be the last time you ever talk to me. 
He's watching the hockey game. He ain't got time to fuck with you. <laughs> All right. Billy Bob. I don't have any of my stuff. Okay. So I roll that with a penalty die? Yep. No way. I not have your bike, but maybe you can ride Blake or something? Nope. Bonnie, though. She's up for a good time. Yeah. She's driving. <laughs> she prefers cars. Oh, that, yep, that's a freaking massive fail. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, Boris comes back. He uh, he has a shotgun. Nice. He's got uh, some new clothes. A suit for... Uh, Luther. Walmart suit. Yep. But Luther is completely bathed. His hair is all yeah. combed. He's shaved. Whoa. And he is looking good. So, yeah. Yeah. And you got, uh, Blake, you also got a box of shells. How many are in a box? Uh, 20? Yeah, usually 20. Sounds about right. Okay. I was thinking that, but I didn't want to assume. What gauge shotgun is it? Well, it's the same as Billy Bob's dad's. Well, gauge pump. All right, so uh, what is your plan when you get down to dock? Uh, get on the ship and uh, find out where it's going and what it's doing. If there might be information right. on it. Talk to Julie and head up to the Lido deck and play some shuffleboard. So, yeah. Right. If he went to Walmart, he would have got one of these. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you all get uh, back in the vehicle and if there's anything else you want to do mm -hmm. I don't think so I think I'm good all right. anyone want this flamethrower <laughs> bring it with you you never know when you might need a flamethrower the problem is if I get into like you know, a brawl with someone, and I get slammed on this tank. I don't want it to explode on my back. That only happens also, in the movies. How do you board a cruise ship with a flamethrower strapped to your back? <laughs> I mean, that's a great question. I probably that sounds just... like that sounds like a challenge for Luther. That's an incredibly silly question. <laughs> they just let you on. Luther, you, you usually go in like through that. where they take the luggage in. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say that it's uh, medicinal, and they'll let you on the ship with it. <laughs> I will act like it's a tank, and it's an oxygen tank. <laughs> so, uh, Boris, on so as you guys drive, head back south to uh, the dock seventeen. Boris says, uh, "I got the call from uh, Doctor Lucifer. He told me about the disinfection." Um, this the corruption. It, it comes from uh, energy, from uh, black crystal. So if you see some sort of crystal uh, being used for power or energy, that that is black. This is how uh, this is how it gets started. Wait a minute! You're telling me that crystal comes in black? Like I I had the blue stuff. I've had the no, pink no. stuff, which is not real good. But black crystal? Damn! Like okay, I'm gonna try some no. of that. I, I think he's talking about a different type of crystal. Luth Luth no, it is used as uh, it was used as power source for uh, ships. Oh, does okay. he know Mis how mis to combat Misunderstanding. It. <clears throat> yeah, sli slightly different. Slightly different. You have to destroy it uh, with fire. If only we had someone with a flamethrower who could disguise it as an oxygen tank and bring it onto a cruise ship. I can't think of anyone right now, unfortunately. Not on oxygen yet. Oh, Ethel, you could act like this is your oxygen, though. It's more believable from you. Plus, you're such a good actress. What do you think I am, 95? <laughs> you don't look a day above uh, 90. 50. <laughs> you know what? Luther grabs the... Luther, have we left already? If we haven't left yet, Luther grabs uh, like the doctor's lab coat and the clipboard and uh, you know puts <laughs> it on over his suit. Okay. <laughs> Once we're ready, I'll drive us to the docks then. Yeah, uh, Boris would give you a lab coat, not the doctor's, because that was full of blood and holes. So, yeah, he will. <laughs> okay, okay. Lots, so, lots yep. holes. 
I'm the ship's physician and all the blood holes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I am this I am this wonderful woman's uh physician, her personal physician, and she Ooh. suffers from mesothelioma and uh this is her oxygen <laughs> tank that she needs to take with her at all times. So, yeah, yeah. If you refuse to let her on the ship, you can answer to her lawyer. And uh yeah, yeah. I like it. And Blake's her lawyer. He'll just throw your ass in the ocean. <laughs> you got a retainer, you got a case. That's all I'm saying, okay? <laughs> Basically. So, Grandma, what exactly do people do on these types of cruises? I've never been on the one. Hell if I know. Last time I was on a cruise ship, I was in a wetsuit climbing aboard practicing with you. Oh, that was a good time. So, usually... Usually a lot of wife swapping and orgies. Like that's Bonnie, that's pretty much what happens on, on these cruises. So yeah. Really? <laughs> like, Wait, what? <laughs> I've never been on a cruise. Sounds like I need to go on one soon. Wait, <laughs> is Paula watching this right now? <laughs> Everyone yeah. takes their keys and they Yeah, just Paula, you're big... watching this? <laughs> Everyone takes their keys and they just put them in a big bowl and you you know it's, yeah, yeah. <sighs> but enough about spending time at my house. So uh, you are back into come back into Veracruz. Um, you notice that there are lots of uh, emergency vehicles and other uh, vehicles in and around the area as they are mopping up from whatever this incredible disaster that occurred uh, last evening. Um, as you pull up to the dock, you can see this uh, ship. Uh, it is really nice. It is a cruise liner. It is not the huge cruise liners that you would see. This probably has about 200 passengers, and the ratio from passenger to staff is one to one. Mm. So it is very much luxury. Are there any symbols or anything on the cruise ship itself which are visible? Uh, no, it just has the name, the Bella Princess on the side. Okay. You know, that is a good point. I'm going to, Luther is going to make it a point to keep an eye out. He's going to watch people's hands for jewelry, specifically rings, right? Um, yep. As we're walking around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just like me, we're both looking out for any more of those rings which uh, we got. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> We're on the same frequency here. Ethel <laughs> struggling with the fake mask. It's a goddamn mask. It's, it's, How am I uh, supposed to smoke? It's, well, you it's, are sucking on a damn flamethrower <laughs> <laughs> nozzle. It's fine, Ethel. Relax. <gasps> Don't get your blood pressure up now. You know, you shouldn't be getting your blood pressure up. It's going to be fine. Uh, excuse me, sir, <laughs> Burser, Isaac. Uh, Say hola, uh, senor. <laughs> um, we, we need to get to the head of the line. This woman is is really, really ill, and we need to get her into her cabin immediately. Oh, uh, you see a person in a white suit. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Hello, Grandma. Quickly now, you need to sit down. <laughs> she's really, she's really ill. Uh, she needs to get to her room and rest. If, if you know, I, I, I would hate for anything to happen and further to be a massive, just like PR disaster for your cruise line. So, if you know, the quicker we can get her to her room and some meds, she needs some meds. Whatever you have, like just, I bring me your, you know, bring me whatever you have in stock. I'll make sure that I prescribe it to her. It'll be fine. And uh, we need to get her to her room uh, right, right away, right, right away. The quicker, the better. And uh, some champagne. Like I, she, so here's the thing, right? She's kind of an alcoholic and you know if we we really shouldn't be giving her liquor but she wants she will give her some champagne it'll calm her down bring her blood pressure down a little bit it's 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 fine it's fine like that's what we need is what we need is some champagne and oh some you know what else a nice lobster maybe like a couple lobsters that feels uh, like hyperventilating and, through and this mask because so, there's no air being fed to yeah. it <laughs> look, look, look at her. She's turning blue. Breathe, ma'am. Breathe. And, and, and Luther bangs on, bangs on <laughs> Ethel's oh. chest. <laughs> quickly, quickly, take us to our cabin. It's the mesothelioma. Do Luther, you, you should probably <laughs> inject her with one of those syringes you have. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Luther oh, takes the drink and <laughs> shoots it into Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, oh, I'm gonna move to catch her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Is this an actual Trank uh, <laughs> injection or a fake one? <laughs> well, it's the ones that Billy Bob claimed don't work. So, yeah. Right. Oh, oh no. These were modified. So, if Ethel wants to give me a roll, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> give me a con roll. <laughs> oh, that's a fail. Yeah, she is out like a light. <laughs> uh, I will catch her. And as I catch her, I will actually be pick her up. Uh, yeah. I, I got her. Let, let me through. Let's get her to her room. Uh, Just don't, ex but don't expose her to anybody with that damn moo moo on. So, uh, Luther, no, no, you can give me a fast talk or a charm roll, whichever okay. one you wish to do. I am going to go with fast talk because it's better. Yeah, that. So that's a that's a that's a uh, uh, an extreme success. So yeah. Yeah, he yeah. hurries you. Uh, there's some other people assisting, moving everybody out of the line. You can tell that people getting on this uh, cruise ship are all upper class. I mean, they have all got all sorts of jewelry and uh, rings. And so, can do I notice any? Do any of the rings look? Do they, they have? Do any of them look like they have that symbol? Am I uh, you to... make a spot hidden roll if you wish. Okay. No, no, unfortunately, that's a fail. No, so. you don't you not notice anything. You are just ushered right onto the boat. Okay. I love how Ethel's blacked out on the screen now. <laughs> 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 Ethel's just, she's just gone. <laughs> it's great. I just right. love the PvP that we have almost every session. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a cab you get a, a nice luxury cabin. Um, it is close to 5 p.m. and everybody's getting on board the cruise ship. Uh, you notice there is one person kind of like down with the, the group that's welcoming everybody on. And he is having like a, you know, a long, kind of a long discussion. Like they're waiting for something and it passes. It's like 5.30. The ship has not left. I'm is keeping he, my eyes open on the deck. Of, is he of Latin descent? Is he of <clears throat> perhaps Sudanese descent? Like, can we... Uh, he, he would be of, yes, of, of uh, Latin descent, yes. Huh. I think they're probably, you know, this is probably the gentleman who was meant to meet our friends that, uh, you know, we ended up with their passports. Well, it looks like they won't be coming then, doesn't it? Right, but should we, I guess what I'm saying is, should I slip on the ring and walk down there and try to fast talk and come up with an explanation as to why their friends didn't show up? I and say that I was sent in their stead? Probably not. Well, let me see okay. if I can get a look at you <laughs> wearing the ring. <laughs> Ye of little faith, Billy Bob. <laughs> Probably not. I mean... Boris did say we probably shouldn't try to just walk up and get in with this group. We should okay. just see what happens on the ship. And I mean, we done messed up our first mission. We messed up our second mission. Let's try to get this one right, guys. Okay. So, also, should someone check on Ethel and see if she's still breathing? She's still alive. <laughs> Trust me, I feel a pulse. Where's and, the Where's that clear plastic bag with the white powder body that you promised me? Maybe we need to give some of that to Ethel right now. She looks like she could use a little pick me up. I'm just I saying. I left it right next to your clothing when you were getting dressed again after the shower. Oh. Can you pick it up? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Ethel in her sleep is. Die, you goddamn communist <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> She oh, she's Don't worry she's about it. so PTSD. adorable when she has commie dreams. Like I swear to God, I'm gonna make you tear down that wall. All right. Luther it, loves the uh, Cougars. Luther's <laughs> gonna head out in the hallway and look around, see if anybody looks like they've got some whiskey or something. Uh, hey, yeah. yeah. Wait, did we ever get our champagne and lobster? Like what? Oh yeah, what you've got champagne and lobster in the room. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? So what towel? It, it, what animal is the towel folded into? A giraffe. A giraffe. Okay. Just just curious. Uh, Peter, <laughs> the guy who's waiting down there, do I happen to see a ring on his finger? Um, Good call, Bonnie. He does have a ring, yes. He's married. Stay away. 
Is it a marriage ring or is it a hipster ring? Oh, like Bonnie really cares. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Homewrecker. <laughs> uh, from from the distance you're at, it it is it doesn't look like a wedding ring. He definitely looks to be part of the group. I don't think we should talk to him yet. Plan B, though, Bonnie. What if you go down there and work your, you know, wily feminine charms on uh, on our friend? Hey, Bonnie might have strong convictions against taking Plan B. Okay. No, Somebody that's not true. I don't just, have any wily yeah, feminine just, charms. Unfortunately, you're just you're I'm just not my jealous. Yeah, you're just jealous, Blake. Because Bonnie, you're jealous. I'm swole. Use her As use Boris her wily say, feminine I'm charms jacked. on you. <laughs> There's nothing to be jealous of. I could have. Any woman on this cruise ship, if I wanted. Yes, but what we have a penis or not? Any woman? <laughs> Other any than woman. the ones in this group, <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, most of the women Blake end up with normally have penises. <laughs> hey, don't yuck someone's yum. Bangkok was a fun time back in the day. <laughs> So no, it's getting close to six o'clock. The ship has not left yet. Though so, a lot, some of the staff is like, just they're like waiting, and it's now this one guy down, which looks like with the captain of the ship, and they're just kind of like waiting there at the dock. Captain Stubing, where's Isaac? I need another drink. Billy Bob's gonna like lean out over the rail and be like, "When are we leaving?" <laughs> Guys, do we think that the entire cruise ship or the and the entire line is is a front for, you know, this cult and they're waiting for this guy and they're not going to leave without him? Or I waiting think, for these two? I think they'll have to leave soon enough if he doesn't show up. And if they don't leave, we can go ahead and whip everyone else on the boat into a frenzy and start a riot and force them to leave. I can do that. <laughs> Luther, you're too smart for your own good. I can do that. <clears throat> Not yet. Hold off for the time being. We'll wait until six thirty. And also, I'm not that smart, Blake. I'm just still high. When once the once this clears up, I'll be back into my foggy state. You'll Don't be worry. all out of your good ideas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Ethel's phone is vibrating. Oh, Ethel, your vibrator is going off. <laughs> I, I thought that was just Ethel snoring. I didn't even <laughs> realize. Oh, I, I should probably ask you was hungry. <laughs> yeah, let, let me answer that real fast. Yeah, Hello? you get it. She keeps it in her bra. I'm not reaching for that thing. Hello? Yes. This is Boris. What is uh, what is happening on ship? Uh, it appears that uh, we are waiting for most likely the people who aren't showing up to show up. The ones who are dead. And Did there is one person down there wearing a ring that doesn't look like a wedding wing. We think it might be the same ring. Don't let Bor don't let Bonnie lie to you. She's trying to pick up men already. And this is some damn fine champagne. <laughs> Believe me, I don't have oh, you should be cleared to be on ship. Uh, it is headed to Valparaiso, Chile. What do we know about that in relationship to the uh, court of Stalin? I do not know anything. I know that uh, that was on note about the university there. So that no. is where its stop is. Ah, it makes sense. Chile, the University of Stalin, they always went together. <laughs> no, they didn't. I don't, have you been drinking champagne also? I think we all have at this point, including my grandmother who's unconscious. I will meet you in Chile. You will uh, take boat there, yes? Uh, yes, yes, I think we will. Oh, very good. Where, how is Apple? Is she not answer her phone? Uh, she's sleeping at the moment. <laughs> Very tired. Wait, Long... hey Bonnie, are we headed to Chile? Just ask Boris. We're not going to run into Pinochet, are we? Because that's a long story, but I don't want to run into Pinochet. Anyway, yeah. No, Boris, I... what do you think the odds of us running into Pinochet are? Well, now that you've mentioned it, uh, they're probably pretty good. If you had never brought it up, it would never happen. But uh, you know, that's much. just the way things work. Luther, keep your mouth <laughs> shut. All right. <laughs> Uh, well, Boris, uh, if you hear anything else, let us know. I will. Uh, keep in touch. And he hangs up. Oh, fine. Yeah, Boris said everything should be good and we're probably going to encounter Pinochet, so keep your head down, Luther. 
It's okay. Never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Is anyone... <laughs> guys, I need... <laughs> well, what type of disguise are you looking for? I have bikini. Would that work for you? No bikini. Please no. <laughs> okay, no bikini. If you wear a bikini, cover it up. No, listen. Luther has already taken a shower and put on a suit. There's no <laughs> way he knows the right Luther's looking yeah. good. Yeah. Luther is looking good right now. Yeah. What type yeah. of bonus does he have to his disguise rolls right now? <laughs> uh, I have a five in disguise, like five percent. So yeah, I like the only disguise that I can put on is I I I, I can't. It's basically what it is, right? So that's why I that's why I that's talk will help fast. him slick his hair back while his way out of it. <clears throat> So it's it's uh, it's dark now. It's about six thirty, and finally, uh, the ship begins to shove off. As this whoever this person is comes walking up, looks rather pissed off, and gets into the uh, gets onto the ship and heads to their room or wherever they go, and the ship begins to disembark. Uh, if there's anything you want to do at this immediate time, you can. For the trip for the boat is the cruise is headed to Chile. That's the final and only destination. How many days? Uh, they said it's going to be about four days. Okay. Uh, then I would probably uh, strip down to my Speedo, hit the deck, and try to get a nice tan. I can oil up, with that. Oil up, you know, so that the sun really takes. I'm following okay. Blake. I have no idea if this is what people normally do on a cruise, <laughs> so I'm assuming it is. <laughs> he seems to be one of the upper mucky mucks here. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I get it. No one's bothering him. I'm just following his lead. Blending. How long does it take for Ethel to wake up? Yep, she doesn't yep. wake up. She's dead. <laughs> New character. <laughs> you wake up about like 2 a.m. Uh, what happened? So, Ethel, I've been waiting. I was worried about you. Everybody else kind of split. So, Blake, like, tranked you. I, um, and you passed out. And I don't like, I told him no, and he did it anyway. But, like, I don't know. It was, I know. And then he left. He didn't even care if you were okay or not. And, but yeah, I like, you know, you know, I got, got you. Bonnie's so, too good right. for him. <laughs> <laughs> want to go hit the slots yeah for sure like i've been waiting all night to go hit the got slots. a whole purse full of pennies okay wait what floor are we on i want uh, uh peter i actually what i want to look i want to know what the room numbers are ne you know for each of our cabins next to us okay uh <laughs> 529 and 531 Okay, when we had, I'm remembering that 529 and 531. When we head down, I'm going to go up to the pit boss and I'm going to say that I want a thousand dollars in chips on 529. Then I'm going to go across to the other side to the uh, to another pit boss and I'm going to say I want a thousand dollars in chips on 531. And I give a thousand dollars to Ethel. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so you mentioned something about putting on the ring. Do you ever put on the ring? Uh, no, because Billy Bob told me that was a stupid idea. So no, the ring is still in the the ring is in the room. Like okay, like, yeah, yeah. All right. So Ethel's Blake. gonna play penny slots all night. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like a tweaker. Luther's gonna get it, man. I'm telling you. As soon as it gets around to me. <laughs> uh, Billy Bob, what are you gonna do? Uh, there's no Wi-Fi on this boat at all, huh? There's no Wi-Fi on the planet. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't bring a bike park catalog with me, and I can't shop online. <laughs> uh, give me a luck roll. Okay. Well, that's fail. <laughs> okay. The captain thought he might have a, a bike in the back somewhere, but uh, <laughs> did not. 
You know, this is one of those fancy cruise ships. They probably have a gym. You could probably ride oh, yeah. one of the air bikes. Exercise bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. you could ride the exercise bike. Oh, the torsion bikes where you have to tighten it and then loosen it. Mm -hmm. Oh, screw that shit. Yeah, there we go. That's that's where Billy Bob's going. He's gonna be on the exercise bike. Got to keep okay. Up. All four days on the exercise bike. Yeah, you don't you don't keep this high of a con modifier without staying on your bike. <laughs> He's gonna be walking bull legged for a while after that. <laughs> How's that different than he normally walks? Luther or Luther, serious. <laughs> Luther orders a bottle of uh, Johnny Walker Black um, and a, a, a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue uh, at to, uh, to one to room five twenty nine and one to five thirty one, and you know gives a bottle to to uh, Ethel, and then goes back to to playing cards. Does Ethel hit the jackpot on the penny slots? <laughs> Uh, if you, I mean, you could make a gambling roll. She's got a whole purse full of pennies. So, <laughs> what would get? Is there actually a stat for gambling? Yes, there is now. Oh damn! <laughs> yeah, that, that is actually a skill. Here. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I got. Gambling. Where are you? I don't actually oh, see gambling on my character sheet. Yeah, I don't see one. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think gambling is a you skill. Don't? I think that that's. I think, I think that you use. I think yeah. I think it's a luck check. Um, you know, basically for gambling. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think there is a skill. Yeah, a luck check at best. I have first aid and then history, so there's nothing in between even on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So with your luck, yeah, you you hit a couple. You know, you get like five dollars worth of pennies a couple times. Hell yeah. So use that to buy more cigarettes. <laughs> On this cruise ship, you think that's going to buy you anything? <laughs> Luther says, "Screw the screw the cigs, Ethel," and he he gets a box of Macanudos on room 529 and hands her a cigar. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, shit, we could probably get Cubans on this. This is international waters. You guys got Cubans on you? <laughs> oh yeah, they do. So oh that. yeah, that, Luther on room five twenty nine. We're getting some. We're getting a couple. No, Cubans. no. What he means yeah. by Cubans is half the way to staff are Cuban. <laughs> I haven't had these since last time we tried to kill Castro. <laughs> so, uh, Luther, are you? Um, I mean, you're smoking Cubans and gambling, <laughs> and drinking Johnny Walker Black. Sure am. Yeah. Okay. It's a neat. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Trying to gain back some sanity. So <laughs> give me... Uh, so what, what kind of uh, gambling? What kind of gambling are you doing? Scraps or... Yeah, points? dice. Always dice. And I'm playing the odds, right? It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, all right, give me a luck roll. That is a success. Okay. So you... Uh, like the second night, you're just like mopping it up, yep. like rolling it up. And you happen to look up and there's a person across the table, an older oh, Latin gentleman uh, who has like wearing a sash and he uh, very fine haircut. Uh, he almost looks like. Uh, Jesus, it's General Pinochet. God damn it. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you and smiles. <laughs> Uh, we can and we can stop right there. <laughs> Damn you, Peter! What a bad thing. TPK, right. TPK. <laughs> well, we're gonna go somewhere where there's not a mob that wants Luther's head. <laughs> or we're just gonna say, you know what? You can have it. <laughs> we gotta go to a different continent for that. <laughs> Uh, with that, we're going to end the stream there. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and we'll see you guys next Thursday if you're here for Just Pulp Cthulhu. Otherwise, we've got Pathfinder 2nd Edition tomorrow night, and we've got uh, Descent into Avernus on Saturday night. So I uh, hope to see you guys there. With that, uh, game on.